Oh, really? Yeah, You're the best. Yeah. How long are you here? Uh, we're going to Mississippi tomorrow for the charity event that Lowe's doing in his hometown. What's in Mississippi tomorrow? Uh, we're doing a charity event at Lowe's, in Lowe's hometown. But what is it? Oh, got Mississippi you, got you, got you. Yeah. Got you. And, um, we're doing the Boys and Girls Club. Boys and Girls Club. We're doing a gift bag giveaway. That's lit. You know, something for the kids. Gift bags? What? Yeah. What's the age group? Six to 18. I should give y'all some lip glosses to put in there for the girls. Take them. What time are y'all leaving? I'm probably going to more likely leave like tomorrow evening. Oh, yeah. I'm going to definitely give y'all some stuff. Late, late. Wow. Well, that's, I thought we was going to get that shot back. I didn't know that they was going to, because they told me they were going to leave tomorrow. I mean, Friday. OK, well, we can do that. Yeah, for sure. Let's do that. I would love Got to do that. Got some lip gloss for the lady folks. For the girls. Huh? Of, of course. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ask her for my number. Yeah. We'll be ready in a few minutes, guys. I'll be ready in a few minutes, guys. I got to get the ceremonial blunt together. Hey, J-O-N. Why don't you set the mood, man? Hey, man, that's that one girl. Man, where she been? <laughs> Got some tattoos and shit now? That wrote all on nah. your breastplate? I didn't even recognize it. What's up? Exactly. What's going on, guys? Yeah. Hey. You need the key. Here you go, right here. Hey, Chico. Hey. Play some sexy shit. We got B. Simone in here, man. B. Simone, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, B. Simone. B. Simone. <laughs> B. Simone. B. Simone. Do we want the rock here or no? Braylon Simone. See, I'm so nervous. <laughs> you don't know what's going to come out of this nigga's mouth. I'm not going to. Man, we are here to celebrate you, black right. woman. We're here to celebrate you and to borrow a little money. <laughs> you should have never told us that you got rich. I don't got it. I don't got it. And you need to reinvest I'm in all the black out. business. I'm all out. You are not all out. You just made some more lip gloss money. <laughs> right. I'm all fucking out. Motherfuckers got lips, so they need lip gloss. Yeah. Use the coupon, get 20% off. Ooh. What ribs? Hey man, black boy got a real skill, man. He got a real skill when it comes to that grill. Somebody about to get proposed to in this bitch? Shit, it's beautiful, ain't it? Look at everybody looking around, texting people who don't fuck with you no more. You be texting people that don't fuck with you. Much love to everybody that's got broken up with lately. You never know how your blessing gonna show up. I'm talking to the people in the room right now. I'm just building some team. I don't know how y'all been surviving this shit. Craig, the only nigga I talk to in this room. I'm really disappointed in y'all. Y'all more than welcome to join us as a team building exercise. Y'all about to get a what? Me and Craig about to get a trainer. A what? A trainer. Oh, OK. Don't act like I you didn't hear me. Train. Uh, <laughs> no, no, man. Either. I ain't the type of nigga that'll run a train. I'm too selfish. <laughs> you would, I'm, I'm way too yes, selfish. Yes, you would. What if, if a nigga? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. What? I don't want to see a nigga naked. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be in the presence of a naked nigga. Like, a nigga coming out, he naked from the waist down. All right, dog, you turn. <laughs> Whoa! No! Yeah, you you got, would do you that. You got to establish your half of the body, nigga. This is my half. That's your half. But see, that's like, what I'm somebody saying. Get I'm the not, mouth, somebody get the vagina? I don't, have a, I don't have a friend that I trust that much. I don't want to never be oh. naked in the room with none of my close associates. Yeah. Ain't no pussy worth that. What are we proving to this bitch? Yeah. We're not 19. 
Yes, you, 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 I agree. There's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, it it gets to a certain point in your say, life. So when can you stop doing trains? What age? Well, you supposed to Unless do you're getting you're paid for. Yeah, I'm about to say, if you ain't a porn star, after a certain age, then you got to, it's over with. You supposed hmm. to do that as a young man. Grown men run trains a whole lot right. different. You need to, your spacing is different when you get older. Right. You ain't even, you know, <laughs> how, you know what I'm saying? You know like, how grown men run a train? you get older and start fucking, your spacing don't say the same as a young nigga. You can fucking confine spaces as a young nigga. Right. But you need more space you older? older, yeah, you trying to goddamn, <laughs> you got to alleviate they certain shit, you got to open up your nut, yeah, you got to do a whole bunch of shit when you're older, your train ain't. I don't know no niggas who run train. Older niggas share a bitch, but they ain't going to share together. Like, you just send her over there, like yeah. you'll leave the door open for your partner. So, a threesome is No, no, nah, nah, that is for that is reserved for a man and two women. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, all the other shit, I don't, I don't even know a woman who ever said they wanted two dicks at the same time. <laughs> I might yeah, just know the wrong kind of women, but I ain't never heard a woman say, you know what I could go for right now? Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> a double up. <laughs> <laughs> Super wild. I ain't double never heard a woman say, you know what I really don't enjoy about sex is I got two <laughs> open holes that nobody will feel. That's very true. I don't know if any trains ever started with the woman just say, you know what, hey, both of you niggas. I think when trains happen, it's an accident on the woman with the woman. It's an accident. Well, we're not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> we're not gonna say it's never an accident. I'm not gonna say <laughs> it. You know what I mean? I mean, like she's it's like, never okay, an accident. I didn't mean to be a hoe. You could get hit by a train on accident, <laughs> but you don't get you a don't train get ran. ran on you by accident. That don't work like that. It's like oops. Yeah, no, you don't. That don't happen like that. I always wonder what happened to those girls who got trains ran on them in high school. They always seem to like move away to they another married. city and find a husband. Yeah, they married. They got the double the experience at you know early. So they by the time they got to just fucking one nigga, they was woo. And this is my favorite part of the show, bro. The pre-show banter. Yeah, yeah. Once they get to fucking one nigga, they like, oh, I got this. It's like fighting two motherfuckers at once all the time, then you get to go one-on-one -on -one with a nigga. I'm about to beat the dog shit out you. I know some yeah. niggas that done fell in love with girls they ran trains on. <laughs> Even the girls yeah. said, ugh. <laughs> that shit childish, though, to me. Why are we talking about trains? You ugh. brought it up. I thought you was about to confess. No, I ain't never had no train ran on me. You ever fucked with somebody in the room? Carlos. That's lit. That's <laughs> lit. Tell the truth, that's lit. There when they begin, you probably oh, like, God yeah. damn y'all, fucking fucking off of that. Okay. Would you be acting asleep? Who? If somebody was fucking in the room with you, you would act asleep? Hell no. 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 I'm you a watch? Not act, you not fucking in the I'm room with me. I'm not going to watch. I'm not going to watch. I'm not going to let nobody I'm not fuck in the room with I'm me, my nigga. You could have asked me to go. I'm, I'm not going to But like a drunken night after the club. Like, I'm not a hate. No, I've never been that drunk to where I'm so drunk that niggas is fucking beside me. And I'm just like, let me make a decision as to whether or not but if I, I want to leave. Just act asleep. It's over soon. No, that's some, good, that's some college shit right there. That's some college shit right there. Just no. know if I ever walk in and you fucking your lady, I'm going to look at her titties. I feel obligated. I got to see the, I want to see the titty. I ain't going to make it. What y'all? Boy, let me get the fuck up, y'all. What? I, I ain't going to make it. I ain't going to make it. Carlos loves titties. I'm not going to make it. I, I always do. talk about boobs. As soon as I hear that hood, I'm like, oh, my bad, bro. I'm out of there. You know why? I'm out of there. You know what I think it is? Because I love titties so much, I want to save all of them. There's you like little ones or big ones? I like all of them. Like That's really what I'm saying. Ones? No, because a few of the ladies in my family got breast cancer. Aww. So I, yeah, I accept so all the titties. Yep, you know what I'm it saying? Has a close place in your heart. Exactly. That's lit. That shit was crazy. Monty had to get her nipples cut off. And then mm. they had to wait about two weeks to put them back on. I don't even know if they put them back on. But I remember I was laughing at the titty. You know how you have to laugh to keep them crying and shit. Too much, yeah. Don't get it. Why don't don't just say it. You heard titty with the Bruh, this because it it was it was a that's how me and my auntie play. But I'm saying if you had to choose, would you like a double D or like a little A? I feel like titties don't even really get big till you get to a double D. Really? Yeah. Man, come on. Yeah. See how quiet it got. I'm not a big, I, you know, that ain't nothing. I like you like that. ass? Yeah, you can have goddamn, you could be built like me up top. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> nope. I don't give a fuck, baby. Nope. It's all good. Mm-mm. Get left. I work with whatever titty you bring. Right. Because I think all titties got character and flavor. I done seen some little titties that would have been great big titties. 
I done seen little titties with big titties. What about stretch marks? Y'all like stretch marks? Who gives mm-hmm. a fuck about stretch marks? That let me know she a real human. Yeah. I have stretch marks. Who cares? Yeah, I mean, who cares about some stretch marks? I like vagina. I feel like a motherfucker ain't fine if they don't got stretch marks in certain places, like behind the legs or what? Like where, like you, where side, you can right see where the ends get. I like lines right here. Yeah. Oh boy. If you find one, she got a little bit right here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're so old. They're old. I don't care. Hercules. I don't care. I don't care. Hercules. What is? Oh, that candle broke. Yep. Well, shouldn't have started talking about titties. Sorry. <laughs> Who? Oh, give me That's one so second. We'll start old. right after this. What happened? They on? Was it burning? Hold on one second. Let me see something. It broke. Be careful with that. Right. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was already had a handful of blood. Be Simone. Hmm? How's Pastor Greenfield? Good. He really thinks he knows y'all. It's so weird. He's been watching the show. 85 South Show? Mm-hmm. He watches it sometimes. Good. That's how I know we're going to heaven. <laughs> Mm-mm. Pastor Greenfield been watching the show. So what's what's new in your world? What's your next venture? Um, music. Back to doing music and focusing on Be Simone Beauty. Oh, okay. I'm trying to work on a new stand-up set to get ready for next year. Yes, I talk to them. They don't care. They don't. Yes. Be <laughs> Simone, okay. you really think we would make you look better? Yeah, like I know. You don't really think we we come and have you on here to be a media I, outlet? The I fuck out of here. That. You got me to talk to your partner. It's not y'all, it's the people. Fuck, fuck them the people. people. Take we one told you, clip. you can we go back you. to the first episode. We've been told you fuck, fuck the people. people. I know. Long time what ago. I say, Carlos is going to say as soon as I walk in. Fuck them niggas, man. But what yeah. niggas can't stop shit? Can't stop shit? I know. I know. What we got? Okay. We got some dope art. I've been putting the P.O. box out there. Wow. That's mine. He sent all of us one of these. My man, C. Ray. For real? He got all, he did a, one lit. for all of us. Oh, that's dope. I'm going to bring that one that, uh, oh, that's what nice. you call him? Oh, look. Dead. Let that, me see that. that. What you call him, Dead of sure. Us 3? I'm yeah. going to bring it down here to put it here. Hey, let's get a shot of this. Chico, get in this joint. Make sure I'm out of it. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Squad! It's hard right here. You fuck with it? Hell yeah. Guys, we're five minutes out. Five minutes out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> five minutes? We're at the five minute mark. We had to shoot the show because as soon as it get dark, I threw the car in park and I hit my mark. Mark said, bring the guns and the reefer. Got some hoes over here and they cheaper. All they want to do is smoke a little reefer. You the motherfucking reefer keeper. That's why I need you. So he pulled up, Crown Vic, and some motherfucking bullshit. But then he had the weed in a bag that was tucked under the seat. Said, here you go, Lowe's, because I got what you need. And then yeah. the nigga threw me a sack. I'm like, cool. And so I threw the nigga the money back. And then he hit me on the text and said, what's up with the one with the dress? I'm like, hey, her, ain't nobody holler. You need to come back through because you got a couple dollars. You know we with this shit? He took her to the room in five minutes, he hit, woo. But that's just a regular night. <laughs> you feel me? That happens all the time. Cocoa butter. B. Simone, you going to have some man lip gloss or no? Uh, <laughs> Niggas um, got lips. Lip balm. Niggas got a lip. No, lip fuck that. Mm-hmm. Lip balm. Balm. B A L M. Balm. Make the bitches want to kiss you. Not gloss. <laughs> Nigga walk around. What do y'all use on your lips? Uh, I use this cocoa butter right here. Oh, that? That's what okay, I use I'm on my make... lip. This right here. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't put too much shit on my lips. Not like Carmax or anything? I mean, it's necessary. You know what I mean? It's hey, somebody, somebody said stop walking through the camera. They, they got uh, OCD. And that shit aggravates the fuck out of them. Yeah, I'm gonna make y'all a uh, cocoa butter. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just saying. I tried. Oh. I tried to, but they was like, tell Chad sit his ass down. Mm. 
Goddamn right it is. You know why? You know why, Chad? Because motherfuckers had to stretch $1,200 for three months. Where the fuck they gonna get the money from? We, we, we doing our part to keep up the No, we ain't. The community feels hungry in the motherfucker right now. See, you've made it too inclusive. Don't put the pressure of the community on me, especially in ones I don't live in. If you ain't black, you really can't ask me for shit. I'm serious. And you got to be a certain kind of black to even ask me that. What kind? I'm just, shit, family. If you ain't never been to <laughs> my, if you ain't never been to my grandma house, don't really fucking say shit to me till all this is over. I've it's about some here. help. I've never been to your grandma house. But I'm saying you ain't never asked me for shit neither. Never. But if I ask why? Well, I love you. You will help me. Close. Cause there's so many niggas. Really it's so you, many you niggas ahead of me that you gonna ask first. I no. know. I know if it's you ever right. shit. <laughs> yes, what? it is. There's a lot of niggas ahead of us that you ask. Not that many. Yet. Well, it's but still it's some. You can't deny that it's 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 some niggas that you go ahead and beat it. If I was down to my wits end. Would you be there, Lowe's? Yes. Oh, okay. I'd never let you, let fall. you fall off. Yeah. I would never let you fall. Can't let you fall the fuck off. Okay, how, you much, how much, how much? You done took it too far with the fall off. How much did you give me? I'm saying how bad See, it ain't up, even got to be, you see, you already, that let me know your mentality somewhere else, because it ain't always got to be about money. But hmm. I'm saying if I financially needed you. I mean, shit, anything, <laughs> anything over 40 is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? So I got you over I mean, 40. Shit. You definitely over the 40 mark. So anything over there, we can work out. Hey man, I'm just be all the way under. Don't nothing. Forty dollars? Don't <laughs> no, 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 no. Not you. Uh, <laughs> like, you. I'm just saying. Anything forty what? <laughs> forty dollars is the limit. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the ground floor for just. Man, I fucked up, man. No, hey, Chico. So you, you, we passed that. So you, you know what I'm saying? We can discuss it. Any, it's not even up for discussion anywhere else. Like, look, I just high forty for you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> In my mind, I literally thought. I'll, I'll help okay. you, but I'm going to have to say something. I'll be like, girl, you fucked all that lip gloss <laughs> money up already. I know you were yelling at me. You might take this $40. Dollars. No, you no, ain't I, got no nigga I had to, to Yeah, no, I had to <laughs> ask where the money went. What like, nigga you to let come over here and finesse you out? But that's what money. I was saying. Don't nothing make me more uncomfortable than a woman I ain't never had sex with or nothing sexual asking me for some money. I'm like, whoa. I think that's how they feel when niggas ask them for some pussy. It's hmm. got to be the same feeling. The reverse. It's reverse. Yeah. You ain't never did nothing for me, so what should I get? Yeah, it makes sense. So, it makes sense. It money, makes sense. Money is the pussy. Unless yeah. it's your family, like me. Uh-uh, I don't my, fuck my with family. I ain't cut the family off. Listen, you know how much shit I done done for my oh, family? Oh, I ain't cut the family off. The I know. fuck you talking about your no. family? Oh, I get it. I shit for my family when I was I poor. I get it. I don't no, cut, for sure. I don't cut the family off. I took my last $10 and fucking take it. Poor, uh, uh, uh. For See sure. that? Fuck that. That's God. what they, that's what family don't understand. God, they don't appreciate God, all this shit God got before. real tricky when he was building families. He just started throwing some motherfuckers in there at some point. <laughs> Everybody ain't family. Just because you in the family don't mean you family. Man. Family will fuck you with the raw dick with the glass on it. Family. <laughs> Well, fuck you up. You'd be surprised how much your family think you owe them. Yeah, for sure. What? How much they think you got. Boy, don't nobody count your pockets quicker for than sure. your family. For sure. Your fat boy, that's boy, that's about 14 posts he done put up at shows, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga, I had to stop for 14,000, nigga. That'll fix all my issues. <laughs> huh. I had to stop my own daddy. This nigga got drunk talking about we straight. They don't know who no, we is. I'm like, nigga, I'm straight. Straight. <laughs> straight. Nigga, I'm straight. This nigga got drunk talking about we straight. They don't know who we is. I'm like, nigga, I'm straight. They know me. They don't know you. <laughs> you quit talking loud in these folks' establishment like that. No, for sure. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> I love his laugh. That family will drain your ass, man. They really will. I always want some. <laughs> don't like, I don't like when a motherfucker, I don't like when people be in something. a fucked up situation and then they wait to like the last minute. They and then like, you have no choice. I need $1,200. They're going to cut the lights. So I'm like, nigga. <laughs> Who at the light company let you run up $1,200 worth of credit and you need it today? What time? 4 o'clock, call me at 3.30. I want to see what you come call up with. Don't let me be your only call. call. Nah, that's How many saying. motherfuckers that's have you called? I understand that when you are the let last resort. Let me be your last. Yes, yes. call me last. You call know? me at 3.59. Nah, that's you the solution. You got to understand when you become the solution for motherfuckers, they skip 
a whole bunch of other shit that they could have done because mm -hmm. you the solution. <laughs> Niggas skip the whole process. Because they know. You, they you, skip they the whole know. process and be like, and get to talk and to talk shit to the motherfucker yep. that they owe the money. Man, I ain't got to worry about this little bullshit. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Cause. Cause. This little <laughs> bitch ass nigga up here talking about, he gonna put me out my house because I ain't got the money. <laughs> yeah, man, talk to this nigga. <laughs> Hello? And yeah, yes, sir. Are uh, you the cousin with the money? <laughs> oh, man, yeah. a nigga hit me one time. Not even family. Niggas was like, man, shit, bro. My rent got down two, two months behind and shit. Shit up to about 14 50 man. I got, I got four. And then, you know, plus whatever you can give me. I was like, whoa. <laughs> you skipped something right there, my nigga. Like, that, that was I got both, I, I'm stage two of the plan, <laughs> nigga. It's supposed to be two more steps for you to me. Where's B C? What's even more a crazy B, is the strangers that DM you about bread. Them that stories, shit's them ridiculous. Stories. Them stories be so sad. Be, like, I'm talking out. about my, I'm, all it's day. me, my three kids, and I'm like, where's that nigga you gave that pussy to? And the crazy part is it'd be more than one cuz. baby daddy. Yeah, when you was fucking on cuz, like what did you have in regards to conversations prior? Ridiculous. Was it just dick that you wanted? Cause he left a whole responsibility over there and now somehow you watching me make me the nigga that's supposed to fix that. I don't they know the mentality so of a nigga up. who fucking on a chick who he know got two, three, four baby daddies. What make you want to be? Three, four, five, baby. That's the daddy. power of the vagina, though. Pussy so good, niggas be like, you know what? Ain't I don't no mind pussy leaving that something good. over here. Ain't no pussy that you good. You just ain't never had nothing that shit, good. I done had plenty of ghetto pussy. I mean, the shit. A you know what I was doing while I was in there? Planning my escape. Pussy good in the motherfucker. <laughs> I right, jump out this window. This <laughs> Anything, if a nigga kick in this door, I'm under the bed. I be planning my escape the whole food is some good pussy. I feel you, bro. Man, she got all, I see why she got all them kids, but she won't get me. We didn't feed Feet we didn't. don't fail me now. We didn't I already establish so that there is some <laughs> pussy out here that we didn't know existed. Nigga, it is some pussy out here that to make you know not want no more pussy. Do you know how, boy? Hey, welcome back to the 85 South Show. I feel like that's the perfect that's the place. That's the perfect intro. That's the perfect right place. There, the start. Come on, man. We got superstars in the building. We got to make real. this quick because I know she got things to motherfucking do. I'm People to free. see. You're Lips to free. gloss. You don't have anything. Oh, you ain't this? Look at her nails, nigga. She got nigga, you didn't come up in here standing on us with the rolex and shit. She crystals on her nails. Come nigga. on, man. Don't be, don't, come on now. Come on. She'll do like this and be in the inside of the beauty supply store. You don't even know how she got in that motherfucker. The door's locked. She click her nails together. And now she in the beauty supply store. Blink we three got times, the one now you only. got some lashes on. The one and only. The legendary. Our sister. Come on. B. Simone. Hi. B. Simone. Then came through. B. Simone. I'm in this beach. How you living? Yeah, you know, you done got rich on us and shit. We still real. the same niggas. We ain't came up all the way. Like, <laughs> all the way. Have. No, we haven't. Stop. Why you ain't no, call me when the lip gloss was flying off the motherfucking <laughs> shelf? <laughs> this nigga made a million dollars the two times. Right. Yeah. Twice. And get Ooh. on the internet and be like, look, all you got to do is... <laughs> All you have to do is manifest. Is manifest. She lying, because I've been trying to fuck Meg the style since she dropped that freestyle. No, it is true. I've been like me and Meg. <laughs> Meg said she got an ass so fat she make a nigga wash dishes. Mm. Do you watch, you don't wash dishes? I mean, I, I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> but if Meg say wash the dishes. Lisa Mona made a ran up a ticket off the motherfucking lip gloss and all you got to do is just sit and just think. I'm like, shit, I ain't never thought to sell <laughs> lip gloss, but I can in my living room now, especially in 2020. Ain't shit else going ain't on. Ain't nothing else I done been trying do. to manifest this shit back for years. <laughs> Let her that play on that. That shit won't give you touch my spot. I, I see it. No, don't put your hands on it so I can manifest some of that good shit right there. Maybe my shit will be back. We'll see. Chico. I ain't gonna blame you though if it don't yeah, go please. back. Yeah, please. Don't, like <laughs> don't say it was my, my energy, God I don't damn. like the face you made plate. when he took his head off. Huh? Don't be judging him like that. Oh, she no, better not. I've seen it already. I know, but I, the face I you, love the you ain't seen it in person. She said that shit like it was a dick that wasn't impressive. <laughs> oh, I've seen it already. It's okay. We spoke about it. <laughs> no, it's, it's, you know, I love the confidence. Chico's oh, yeah. so confident. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about nothing. I don't, I, don't, know if that I, don't I don't even know if that went together, but you I, I, don't, right I don't give a fuck about nothing. That's what we that's why we glad you here, man. Yeah, so we I'm can speak on here. some of this shit that's yeah. been going on. You worried about, you know, with strangers. 
<laughs> are saying about the work and effort that you didn't put in out here in the world. So we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit of something just to get that shit on out the way. Cause get it off your chest. Get it out the way. Because, I mean, we love you. We didn't been telling you. I, and this no, is, I and caught this a lot is, of hell for loving you. Yeah, I know. In the midst of all of this. I know. Okay. Damn. <laughs> but they was fake mad at me. They followed me back. They came back. <laughs> they were like, they're like, look, we on that shit, my nigga. These other niggas ain't even cracking like this. So I know. So when we went live, you was, you was, you know. I know. But you know, always got my bag. We done been telling you for years that you was a star. I'm talking about way, way back when it first kicked off. So mm -hmm. I'm talking about when you ain't had no hubcaps. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I only had three hubcaps, y'all. Yeah. I I'm heard you about. still ain't got a car yet. I don't have a car. What the fuck? You don't have a car. Mm mm. You don't need a car. I don't want a car. I want a driver. See, Ooh. that's a different Ooh. type of the, the thought process. <laughs> I'm right humble. There. I ain't never thought no shit <laughs> like that. I don't want to drive. I want a nigga to push me around. <laughs> I don't. I need a Miss Daisy type nigga in my it's motherfucking It's not even that. Adjustment. It's that I don't like driving. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, them three hubcaps to do that to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I loved my Toyota. I, I, I just stopped driving my Toyota this year. What was it, a Camry? It uh -uh. was a Toyota Yaris. Oh, a Yaris. Okay. Big black, three mm -hmm. hubcaps. And when it rained, the seats got wet. See, that's what people need to know. That's the shit you They need do to, know. I, I showed them that. I mean, but Stop you showing get, them everything. But then, stop telling them how much money you get. Right, you're supposed to kept that the, shit. You should have kept the yard secret for this time. When <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> turned on you like, wait a minute now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Hey, wait a minute now. Don't get whoa. it fucked up. Now, look at my seats. They still went from the rain two weeks ago. <laughs> nigga, I'm, I'm regular. No, seriously. It was so stressful. It was like molding. <sighs> what the fuck? What? Yeah. <laughs> Let me when find it rained, out and I couldn't figure out how, how it got wet. That's some psycho behavior right there. <laughs> right the you imagine. Every you know, time it rains. You know how many niggas done roll with her and act like they ain't see that shit? Yeah. <laughs> what is that, Mo? Girl, crack this window. You a fool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo, you trying to give a nigga the black lung, but I'm gonna take my chances. I'm gonna take my chances in the yard. It yards. was only in the back seat. Exactly. So I would only. I That's would, probably yeah. some nut or something. <laughs> Shit, but yeah, like the kids trying to grow up on the back. Stop, Carlos. This so, weed is amazing. What's the my first question to you is mm -hmm. what have you learned from all of this shit? That's oh a great gosh. place to start. I've learned so much. I learned a lot fucking with you too. I learned so much. Like, learn how to articulate, mean what you say, say what you mean, and also, like, I'm gonna get a little deep, but this is one of the biggest lessons I learned. I always ask God to use me, so you can't just expect him to use you by putting you on a pedestal and like having people praise you. God uses you in so many different ways. So I feel like this was like a learning experience and I learned like legal shit. I learned like not to put my faith in man. I learned so much shit, so much shit. Now, how do you think that's going to help you moving forward? Like, see, because a lot of people have oh lessons. Oh, my God. They, they get the lessons and, and they learn them, but don't utilize the, the you know, the aspects of the lessons that they to learn. So. Well, yeah, even like, first of all, I can't go into depth about the book that much because of legal reasons, but dealing with stuff with my lawyer, making sure so much is like organized within my business legally, a lot of stuff that I skipped over as an entrepreneur. I, I just did a free webinar for people to learn um, with my financial advisor, my lawyer, um, a publicist was on there. We gave free information. So like it was called mistakes you'll never have to make. So free information to people that, you know, here's some shit y'all need to know. I made the mistake so you don't have to make it. Watch this webinar, good luck. You know, so mm. legal shit, legal shit. So you done learned a lot about the legal side of the game. Yes. Well, see, I know just watching, you know, how the, the world work and seeing the whole situation happen, I know from my perspective, I would say that from what I've seen you go through or mm -hmm. prior and during this whole process, mm -hmm. You got to be true to you throughout the entire time. For sure. Meaning that a lot of the shit that you did or thought that you were doing to subscribe to what you thought people would want from you, you see now that it ain't no such thing as what people want yes. from you. That shifts and that changes along with whatever comes. People are with, so episodic. Right. Just so, be yourself. So you have to be true yes. to you. You have to be genuine. You have to be no matter what, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the circumstance, they I'd rather have a motherfucker dislike me for being me than to love me for being somebody that I'm not. Cause once they find out that I'm not the nigga that they love, mm -hmm. then the person that they gonna trash me for faking like I am is gonna be a motherfucker. But I, you know what? I think that's one of the main things that upset me the most because people, 
portrayed me to who they were trying to make me seem like I was on the internet is not who I am. I Y'all mean, know me. People right. that know me know me. But that's what but I'm the saying. world don't know me. But that's what I mean. But you gotta you gotta understand when you giving people all of this access to your Facts. life that makes them feel like you're letting me have access to all of the things you For do. Sure. Your B Simone, all shit B Simone. You have monetized yourself. And so people see that and think what they're getting is actually you. For sure. But the parts of you that you're not showing is the shit that you should lead with. Mm -hmm. All that shit that you think, oh, no, ain't nobody going to want to see me when I wake up in the morning with my shit fucked up. Man, be some more smart as a motherfucker. And, and exactly. I show that, too, look, though. I mean, in the, that's in the midst of all of this shit happening, you know what she did that I thought was a genius move? What was that? She went on a trip and dropped them ass pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll work too. Distracted everybody. <laughs> right. Where, where'd she get ass? Jesus. But I mean, you just that's gotta what I understand. Saw. I was like, that's that, bounce back right there. That Drop that man's pictures. Like, for no. example, it's, it's a perfect example of me with this shit. <laughs> this shit here is, is what I mean. I don't give a fuck about what nobody else sees or thinks I should look like to them or do for them. Mm -hmm. Nigga, that shit is inspiring. Regardless me. of what it <laughs> may, the motherfuckers is like, niggas is really mad. Like, bro, God damn, bro, you really gonna keep the motherfucker Farouk? Yes, yeah. I am. Just to show you how I can walk in my truth and my purpose because what God made is not something to be ashamed of. Now, it's nothing wrong. But you wrong. don't think I've done that my whole career? But what I'm, I'm not saying that you haven't yeah, done yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I'm saying is, from what I've seen is the things that people say about you from us knowing you, all of the backlash that you were getting, I'm watching it and like, nigga, you sound crazy as fuck. B. Simone is a hood bitch from Dallas. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you would never, I didn't, like you gotta, th I think about that. Remember that show we did in Houston? When oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, the comedy you know, went show, back the stand-up show. we were just chopping it up and kicking yeah. it and seeing how you operate and move, that type of shit is the shit that people need to see because that makes you they, they don't think that you're perfect. Mistakes mm -hmm. happen. Like when you put it out and I didn't manifest the two million dollars and mm -hmm. I, you know, I ain't fucking the baby. This you got to stop promoting <laughs> that shit. Yeah, I ain't fucking. Because that, we'll talk the about baby? that separate. No, we'll that negativity, that, that celibacy shit. You got to, you have a negative. large, we you have a large platform. And for you to continue to Carlos, put out that propaganda ladies, and negativity, bullshit. And save yourself for somebody bull, who is but worthy. Shit. But, but that's a bullshit. perfect example of that what I mean. Bullshit. Be Simone, that's bullshit. That is no, bullshit. it's not. Man, somebody been in there. I never said I didn't want it. Somebody ate it or something. I never said I didn't want it. I did Somebody done did Asking something to it, man. It's difficult. Could you been right. tempered with, man? So that's I'm trying I'm, to master self-control and be man. obedient and sit still for a fucking minute. Bro, how? The, but that, that, that sounds sound like some freak talk to me. We'll get to that. We'll get no. to that later. That sounds like under the right circumstances. You're trying to talk me out of my self-esteem. It's not going to happen. I'm saying if it was a little dark in here and all these folks weren't here and it was some... Just keep going. Wait, wait, what were you going to say? I'm just saying, I, I, don't, I don't believe you. 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 But I'm just saying, I like. I've sex in almost eight months. I don't believe that. That's that shit dumb mm. as a motherfucker. Mm. Something wrong with you? Nope. No. But well, you tripping. <laughs> All right, what? Uh uh. I'm focused. Like I'm saying. Like, oh, what? Just, you just, already got the money. What you trying to do? $2 million. Dollars. Clear my mind. Niggas are distracting. I think you've been distracted. Be distracted yep, I do. That, and I know myself. So keep your legs closed since you can't handle it. Okay, well, then. Chico, what did she just say? She said, keep her legs closed. No, she... you should have caught it. No, I'm just, I'm back. trying to figure out your logic here, ma'am. It is for me. I'm not telling nobody else. No, you me. came here to share with me. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a long, long time. time I want to know what it is because I might be giving my magic away. You never know. You, you might. are. I'm not. <laughs> this ain't the kind of magic you keep to yourself. This guy gave me this shit to give it to somebody else. He said, son, that no, ain't your blessing. Not. You use that to bless others. You see. The man who walketh in abundance <laughs> shall have hey, some. Hey, hey. It ain't about you. See, the blessing no. is to be one. Y'all, don't start See, God gave me a blessing so I can use it over and over and over again so I can keep Bless it, it's the exactly. gift that keeps on giving. No. Keeps on. I'm not wasting this good ass shit I got. I'm not. That is disrespectful to the Lord. For Come on. Walk around out here with Have y'all ever taken a sex break, like a time where you a like. A sex break? Yeah, yeah. I went to sleep. Talking. Right. Yeah, I went I to sleep. I've been to sleep break. before. Is right. that what you asked to give me? I take a break after every time I fuck. I take a sex right. break. I give me something to drink. Up. This is what she asked asking. Stop. All types of shit. This is what she asked her. And this is going to sound crazy as hell to a man. Have, Have you ever, ever been... not got some pussy on purpose for a long time? Yeah. Come on, Chico. Be serious. Nigga. Not got some pussy on purpose for a long time. Not for a long time. What's the, I've not what's got the some longest? Pussy uh, probably like, uh, shit. 
three, four weeks. Mm-hmm. Really? A nigga will die if he don't fuck in about six weeks. Yeah, three, no. four weeks. I don't know if that's a fact. You can Google it, but nigga really got, because that nut will fill up your sack and, and, and go to your heart and cause you to have years. a heart attack. Two and a half years, be some more. See, that's what I'm saying. That's You think you not got some dick for two and a half years? Yeah. Your standards was, really should be on though. the floor. What was you in jail? No. <laughs> <laughs> your standards should be on the floor. How you don't fuck nobody in two me. years and still have a preference? All See, you that, need to be is a lie. See, that's what that. I mean. That's what I'm saying. That's a, this is a perfect example What's of what I mean, baby. Lie? Is you hearing that most people are not going to be able to understand no shit like that. So you got that's to. That's not true, Chico. No, nobody with a working pussy. Comment if you have been abstinent. On purpose. No, we you can <laughs> unfollow. Absolutely. If you're absent, unfollow us. Then we do not want your type around. This don't is not the that. show for no, you. No, ladies, don't listen to them. If this you are on this the podcast journey, is for women who are, who are fall asleep with God. the dick right here. We're talking to them. You ever had to be fall asleep and take a nap on your dick? She wanted to lay right there back. I know. I, I ain't mean, reached that point. Of I have. Yeah, I, bro, I you don't to, understand. I ain't got to the point where bitch like took a nap on my dick. She wanted to take a nap on the dick. I'd be scared my dick gonna fall asleep like a leg when you sit on the <laughs> toilet too long. You can't sleep. Well, get your ass <laughs> off my meat, man. I, I let her do it. Ladies, but, if you want to go on an abstinent journey. I mean, do what you want to do. Yes. We ain't telling you what to do. Don't but I'm just saying from, from, like I said, from my perspective on the outside looking in, you can't, can't be surprised that people feel lied to when all they get is the magical shit but they don't but you got to understand people don't subscribe to the shit that's not magical because you don't they don't feel like the energy that's behind it is the same you got to understand people are attracted to the the abundance Mm. of life so you have to like i said it's not like you could just use my hair for an example (laughs) it's a perfect example i'm drawing attention it's a thesis thesis statement (laughs) i'm drawing attention to the abundance of what it looks like when it's at the ground floor your rawness right 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 walking around with no makeup on and no bullshit like drawing attention to it because when people see that you have the strength to be able to do that type of shit then they understand that the mistakes that you are bound to make in your life are just natural. And and I feel like that's what I built my total career on, transparency and rawness and realness, looking crazy. Hey man. Not looking crazy, but like you said, no makeup, hubcaps, show the Toyota. I showed when I was making $15 a day. I showed sleeping on the you floor You made for $15 a day? Yes. Do I what? Waitressing, not making a dime. Where? Tripping, you details. You don't even know that. I was broke. Oh. But my point is, yeah. I showed the journey. Well, yes. well, well, that, that, that gives me. That's that what you should have called me, that nigga. Me. I, yeah. That gives me to the but point I, of. I showed all that. So. But what that's is, what I'm saying. People not going. But when you show, when you get out of a of a of a Rolls Royce and get on a private jet, they forget the fifteen dollars a day mm-hmm. because you've excelled beyond that to a point, and now that space that. Everybody has that success that everybody wants to see themselves getting to. They attach themselves to that. Right. So you got to understand that sometimes, fuck it, you might got to go back to sleeping on the floor with a motherfucker just to let them know I'm not beyond none For of this sure. shit. I agree with that. that. I agree with that. Like, not I'm beyond right here none with of this you. shit. I understand I'm not you. beyond yes. none right. of this shit. Right, because niggas need to hear that. I agree when, with that. Because when I, I jump out that. the Rolls Royce and jump on the jet, I'm not posting that for the niggas who don't do it. It's me and, and Diddy and Nelly and four or five other niggas who do that type of shit who gonna laugh. You know how niggas get money Nelly the rapper? For no reason. Yeah, yeah no, you know, I'm not these posting niggas, that These are niggas that we, you know, yeah. have been blessed to. Well, we've well, we been ran into Nelly and a whole bunch of niggas. But that's what I'm saying. We post that shit too. We didn't took shots of Ciroc with Diddy, all types of dope shit. But at the end of the day, people see us and know that these niggas is not beyond hitting the streets again. And that's just the part of it that you have to, and not to say that you'll ever go back there, because I don't think you ever will, but not to put yourself in a position where somebody saying some negative shit about you can drag you back there. Facts. That you don't want to put yourself in that position if you can't help it. And that nine to five nigga shit, I didn't even know them niggas were gonna get mad about that. that. Shit. They were pissed. That shit just came because they was already mad. They were at you. already mad. You could have said that was the fourth thing they were Ooh. mad at. Yeah, yeah, you called yeah, it. You had it was, a mean yeah. week. Yeah, you had one of the mean. Nigga, you got canceled so many times. You got canceled so many times I in a week. It you was, was like, five times. You was like a, a horrible sitcom that they kept yeah, trying oh to bring back. Oh my god. Be Simone again. Fuck that bitch. Turn <laughs> TV off <laughs> again. <laughs> one more time. Click the bitch. One more time. Oh, one more time. They brought up something from 2000. I was like, Jesus. 2000 and what? 17. Oh. I mean, not that that was that long ago, but I was like, what did I say in sixth grade that they could possibly lie? Oh, yeah, a lot of shit. Oh, they're going to find some this old shit. This bitch that hates you from sixth grade been waiting on this moment. <laughs> and you know what? The bitch ain't sharing crayons either. <laughs> Just to let that be known. But 
so, so stressful. Let, let's 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 delve a little bit more into what you really meant by that. Did you Yo mean got a lot on not, his mind right now? Did you not fuck? with a nine to five nigga at all? Would you not fuck with a nigga that got a nine to five that's ambitious? Here's the thing. I think the title thing is what people got upset about because really it's a lifestyle. But in my mind, somebody that's going to have that lifestyle does not work a nine to five. It's more likely that a guy with a nine to five is not going to have that entrepreneurial lifestyle, moving, getting up and going, being able to move around, being able to not clock in all the time and be stuck at a job when we can move. So maybe the title should have been like, okay, maybe somebody with my lifestyle. Whether you work at Taco Bell, nigga, can you call off? Not you saying can, no. though. Whatever. Taco Bell, flexible. I'm just saying. Stop. I'm just saying. They're like, bro. The lifestyle. The lifestyle. So that's I what it did. That's but I, I feel wouldn't. like because it was a, in an interview form and people were already mad at me, they attacked me. See, bitches, that's why I told you you got to stop this telling shit all people the time you celibate because ain't nobody going to put up all that shit and they going to get no pussy. Give me something to throw at me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I get you, but that's what I'm saying. Like the lifestyle. Oh, that's well, the, you hit me two times. The, oh, you, oh, you hit it twice? No, it just hit me back. Like I was talking to my homeboy about it. He was like, you can't put a title on it. It's just you want somebody with your same lifestyle. Oh, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Of course I can. But. But yeah. I'm just saying for niggas, you got to understand from a male perspective, I can give you just a male perspective of what that means. As a man, we have to have a whole checklist of shit in order just to get attention. Not anything of value. Ooh, just shit about to get deep in this bitch. I just know. attention. I got to have a job, mm -hmm. whether it be a nine to five mm -hmm. or I'm entrepreneur. I mm -hmm. got to be funny. I got to be able to protect you. I got to be able to do uh, uh, listen to you talk about whatever the fuck it is you talk about. And what's the list for females? I gotta be able to fuck. That's the number one thing. Cause I can have all the other characteristics. If I can't lay no dick, I'm just gonna be a, oh, you so sweet ass nigga. And what, okay, and then do the other side. Do the female side. Do the female side. Yes. You know what you gotta do? Be alive. Be a, not even have a pussy. <laughs> you can walk down the street right now. This is what no, I mean. If you're you a woman and you alive, somebody. Somebody's trying. <laughs> Multiple niggas And the niggas same thing with a nigga. She. No, I done fuck with. I know plenty of niggas who've been alive a long time when nobody <laughs> fuck with. Them. Niggas guy ain't never had no pussy before. Real shit. Like this is a perfect example. If you as B Simone, even if you wasn't B Simone, if you was just let's just say this lovely lady sitting over there on the phone. If she was walking down the street, before she get two or three blocks, some niggas gonna be like, hey, baby, hey, oh, okay. hey. The fuck you walking for, baby? You too sexy to be walking down the street, baby. Let me give you a ride. Let me help you out. Me and Carlos sure. can be walking down the street as Carlos Miller and Chico Bean. Bitch is gonna pull up like, hey Chico, hey Chico, hey <laughs> Carlos, y'all nigga funny as fuck. Man. On her way to some dick appointments. So it's just a difference. So you gotta understand when men hear, uh, when men hear that they get. It had nothing to no, do I'm, with money. I got you, but I'm just telling you the the pressure that. I a dated lot of broke men, niggas. Yeah, I mean, guys. It ain't FYI. got nothing to do it with being broke. It was money. more than one? Yes, numerous. Numerous. But yes. and that, that's a good question. What made you date the broke nigga? Because I was liked broke him. too. <laughs> you get no choice. So I dated date a broke, broke nigga people. when I had money. Oh, oh, I for real? Him. Yes. And what made you, what, what turned you off from that? <laughs> huh? What turned you off from dating a broke nigga when you got money? Turned me off? Yeah, because yeah, you would still be fucking He couldn't keep up with my lifestyle. In what regard? A lot of ways. He couldn't just move around. He couldn't get okay. up and go. He couldn't so, do shit. Well, okay, so if that's the case, why not take care of the nigga if that's the case? Mm. Oh, well, damn. That's damn. fucked up. No. You mean tell me I could be broke, and because I'm broke and I can't move around and shit, you, and you got the money. But he didn't, have, he didn't have no plan of action. He wasn't doing shit. Okay, well. So, yeah, hold up. Once t pause. Can we take a pause for the calls? Yeah. I got to do that boogie shit. What boogie Today? shit? I got a comedy special. Thing. I have a comedy special that's <laughs> coming out on Amazon. July 10th. July the 10th. Boogie Cousins. Fucking comedy all-star jam. Me, Tony Roberts, hosted by Mike Epps. Gary Owens oh, is on, Gary Owen is on there. Um, Red Dang Grant. Um, it was crazy. Shout out to uh, my boy, Louis Belt. Louis uh, opened up the show. Oh, Lou, that's my nigga yeah, right there. Salute young the young OG. boys, the young OG. They got the call pulled up. You got to do that now? Yeah, it's only like five minutes. It's a promo. I hate to cut you off. You were getting yeah, we so were it was getting so good. Don't worry about it. We ain't got shit. We gonna get back to it. Hey, Chico bro. been really concerned about you, and I'm glad you came. Uh, we really had a council. You weren't concerned? Hell yeah. I, I'm the one who called him. 
I could hear it in his voice. He was trembling. He was like, Carlos, you're No, he right. wasn't. She <laughs> like, bro, like you man, that girl gonna be all right. I'm telling you, man. He was concerned about yeah, you. Yeah, we're not concerned. Uh, you don't no, read the comments? They was like, I'm just trying to find somebody who look at me. Like Chico look at B. Simone. And then somebody made a TikTok of all the pictures and they tried to make it look like he was looking at you. Did they really? You ain't seen this? <laughs> Y'all do not fuck with the fame. I don't have it saved, but if I find it again, I'll send it to you. But they got a lot of clips of y'all at the shows and y'all like gazing. I'm like, nigga, they be really looking. But she's celibate though, so we can't fuck with you. I am. I'm trying to fuck immediately. Uh-huh. Today. Chico got 35 girlfriends. Uh, so? You do? No, I you don't. You're a terrible friend because you don't introduce me to none of no, these No, I don't have 35, 35 I don't have girlfriend. any girlfriends, actually. I have a lot of friends that are girls, but I don't have any, I don't have any girlfriends. I, would, I don't want a girlfriend. Bitch. Do they have the, where, the, where are they? That's, 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 that's right. like B. Simone and a 95 guy. I don't like it. It makes me feel <laughs> icky inside. Would um, you date a chick who had a 95? She, hell yeah, I date a lot of chicks that got that 9 to 5s. I fuck with all types of women that have 9 to 5s, but it's women, different how, for a man. And it's how come women man. can say it in their music, but I got dragged when I said what it in an interview? Who, niggas? No. Women say that. Oh, but it's different. It's just because they was mad at you. That's why. Gotcha. If you would have said that shit the a week year ago before when the, I was the lit, book shit, yeah. and that nigga would have been like, yeah, you can't people fuck with just, me some on. If people have no. one sided mind. Because yeah, right. all the niggas who work 11 to 7 was like, I still shit, They were like, I'm, I'm still, good. I, I work 3 to 6. So yeah, I was don't fuck with a nigga that work three to six. That ain't really two hours. Yeah. <laughs> with, a you yeah. <laughs> with a break. You get a 30 minute lunch break. With a break. Yeah, don't that's, fall that's, for that's that shit. That's 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 but yeah. he got Gotta let that nigga do a Facts. dangerous job and get a lot, make a lot of money and shit. They stopped this way too early. They did. No, nah, don't worry. We, we stuck a pen in it. We don't get back to it. Nine to five. Shit. I want to fuck with somebody who got any kind of money coming in on the record. But it's that you a nigga. You, you a got nigga. a different responsibility. But it's not because I need the money. No, nah, fuck, we don't. Because I'm going to always work. I'm going to ask you, when the last time you asked a woman for some money? I ain't never got no money. Not Me for, neither. Like, I ain't never. I ain't never it's asked It's probably been about 10 years no ago. Money. Yeah, What's and I've 20, had women help me. 2020? Tremendously. Back in 2013. So that's why. I salute, why, I salute women that are willing to, like you said, if, if a nigga got a plan of action. I always had a plan that's of action. That's the so point. A woman, women have what blessed is your me plan? many a time, but I ain't never asked like, hey, sweetheart, you think you could get me right with a couple of dollars in my life? I can't even ask Wanda for no money. Your mama. What? Nigga, that's I the last time I, I had to ask somebody for I anything. I wish I would ask 20, Wanda for some You said that money. it made me think about it. I was like, 2013. <laughs> it was at the top cold of the summer day. Yeah, it was yeah that's that's when it was rough it was for rough, a nigga. Yeah. 2013. It was, was all it was fuck. it was fucked up after that too because it's, the worst shit in the world is, is knowing you oh, done made some money but you got to wait. You got to wait on. So you like you know you got some money but you got to live three weeks. You got to be poor three more weeks. Man, that shit is terrible. Fuck. Uh, really? What? Boy, we was needing that per diem money so, so bad. So bad. It was cold as fuck. To the fuck. point Niggas where I snapped. I put stuff. my whole career on the line for this. Immediately. Ask, ask anybody who was there. What do you mean there. you snapped? Because I'm the what? only motherfucker who asked for the money. Everybody in that bitch fucked up. Everybody scared. <laughs> They come in there every day talking to us, giving us these pep talks. People be like, okay, one day. All right, it's Wednesday. They going to come in here with some money. Yeah, guys, we're getting ready to have a great city. Where is our paper? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Where's the money? When are we getting paid, bro? Y'all come here every day making promises and shit. Where is the money? You, you well, what do you mean, Carlos? Something? What do you need? I need my check. <laughs> well, can I loan you some money? Nope. I don't want you loaning me shit. I've I been up this mad. bitch for two weeks working, nigga. Give me my money. Them motherfuckers went in that office. Came back, guys, we're gonna give you a check. Okay then. Yep. That's all. And then they're like, and, and, man, that nigga crazy, man. You that man say that shit? Anybody that tell you that's not what happened is lied to they you. They are lying, the per diem because of this nigga yeah. right here. Anybody who nigga, was there I'm talking about me and this shit. nigga was walking to the Western Union sending $50, $60. I'm sure you like. I'm talking about for real. It was rough. That Super was y'all's rough. first season? What? And then we ain't get paid from the show. We What we did the show in, in January. <laughs> we get paid to like April. May, April, uh, in the May, in the, in the, April, in the, in the, in the May. March. I remember that shit. In the March, going into in April. In the March, because my birthday is April second. Oh my God, yeah, boy! That I'm shit talking came about, do you like, know how stressful it was to do all that promoting about being mm-hmm, on TV, and then mm-hmm. we we got paid in April, and then didn't come on TV till July. The whole time, <laughs> me and Lowe's like, bro, what if this shit don't never come on, my nigga? Bro, wait till y'all see the movie about what happened in my life during that time. That shit, you gonna have you, niggas gonna walk Both up and hug me, bro. 
Both of us. We was going through. We was having the Nigga, conversations. 2013 is the worst year. This is probably, it's worse than 2020. Man, really? This, what? Yeah, uh, what? 2013 was fucked up. 2013 man. was fucked up. Uh, I had to, I had to sell my clothes at Plato's Closet to get the ticket, the plane ticket to fly to audition. I used to do that. And then, mm -hmm. and then when we got back, I got back after thinking I just, oh man, I, I did something good for myself. Then they hit me and was like, yeah, we need you to fly back again. I was like, well, I ain't got no more clothes that niggas want to buy. <laughs> I had to go to the rental office Crazy. and ask for an extension. Crazy. And this was going into 2013. And Nigga, 2013, I had got so many extensions in 2013. Motherfuckers was calling me to make the extension. They knew I wasn't paying no <laughs> For real, I had the Saturn view. I posted a picture of it on Instagram not too long ago. My Saturn had 256,000 miles on that motherfucker. I used to come out in the morning and sit in the car before I put the key in that bitch and said, all right, is we gonna have a day today or is mm -hmm. we not? Nigga. All right, we good. Yep. Once it started up, it would start the whole day. My shit used to break down. I know so much about cars from that car. <laughs> I ain't know what a ball bearing was <laughs> until mine busted in that bitch. It sounded like I had pop rocks in my ear. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm going to have to drive this bitch. Nigga, before to the comedy, shop. life was raw. My nigga. nigga I, I lived in a project so rough. Half of my building burnt down. Man, the people at the lease office were like, man, you can stay in this motherfucker if you want to. <laughs> Half the whole building burnt down, <laughs> nigga. What'd I do? Stay there, that You bitch. motherfucking right I did, because my shit wasn't bitch. burnt down. And that's what I mean about just having the... the <laughs> nigga, the crazy all. shit that ever happened to me when I was broke, nigga, they cut my lights off one time. And it wasn't even my lights, they supposed to have been cutting off. They was supposed to have been cutting off the nigga next door lights, nigga. I had a whole weekend with no lights, nigga. I felt like a caveman. Boy, I was thugging so hard. I was working. I was working a job. I was thugging. I was working a job right after you know I came back and was thinking I was gonna be able to work my job after we filmed Wild and Out. You know, I'm like, oh, shit, I can work my little job down to hold me over until I get to the money they gonna send. The lady who I was working for was like, I'm sorry, I done replaced you. Man, I ain't never hated before in my life, but I hated a little bit. I was like, that nigga better than me. <laughs> like, so you telling me you done found somebody to do this shit better than me? Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, I mean, boy, it was real, but we thugged it out, though. That's the thing. You got to thug it out. And when you thugging it out and you get past it, like, you realize that, man, that shit is what the process is what makes the shit worth mm -hmm. it. The journey the is journey. the price. I said this on Instagram yesterday. May your sure. blessings outweigh your pain throughout your days. Just know that one leads to the other and it works both ways. Because mm -hmm. once you become blessed, you're going to experience a whole different level of pain, mm -hmm. i.e. what you went through. You mm -hmm. ain't know what it felt like to get motherfuckers that's sitting in a one bedroom on a futon Indian style telling you you ain't shit, but mm -hmm. that's what come. I want to meet that girl that walked to the post office. Mm -hmm. What girl walked to the post office? I missed that Lisa one. Lisa Moan home girl, I want to meet her. Who? The girl that walked to the post office. Oh yeah. Who is she? She still works for me. I want to, I want to, I don't want to fuck her, I just want to meet her. What? Cause she worked for my shipping. Well, she still works for my shipping. She's the manager. Um, she didn't have a car when she was shipping for me. So she would do the packages and walk up to the post office to deliver them. How far is I didn't the post even know office? that. Mm, maybe like a mile. You got it? Yeah, holler at my cousin Boogie. Yeah, tell Boogie, come holler at us, man. Crank that bitch up. Crank you doing it in here? Up. Crank, yeah, that right here. Oh. Crank that bitch up. Crank that bitch. Oh, you on this too? She's on? Yeah, I don't know. You're like, I am right, now. Well. Right. How you gonna turn it on a nigga who it ain't even on? Get my shit, dumbass. Get in here, Chico. Hold on. <laughs> but I'm saying, I know though, it's gotta, change his mind. He always gotta be, change. It's gotta be about me mind, first. Nigga. I'm gonna put you in later. Yeah. You're a special guest. You're gonna tell you, you can't help it. You're a love. You're a special guest. My cousin Boogie. Man, What's shit, I'm just trying to survive this corona. Send me 150,000 till I get on my feet. Me and you both, Man, I heard y'all season about to start up. What you doing for it? I'm cool. I'm watching just like everybody else. Oh, you ain't playing? I don't want no parts to it. Yeah, I was about to say, you watched that nigga from Utah, man. He gave everybody in America that shit. <laughs> that nigga touched them microphones, and everybody in America got sick right after that, boogie. He was in there playing. Now look at us. Can't even go outside. I heard that, man. Niggas just sitting in a 
bunch of niggas sitting in one room next to me. Shit, you said that like, nigga, it wouldn't be for you even if the corona wasn't around, nigga. <laughs> I don't like right. to be around niggas no way, in bro. General. They ain't gonna be able to get me around a whole bunch Man, of niggas. Man, say what's up to B. Simone. Hi. How are you? Who's that? That's the Marcus That's Cousins. That's the Marcus man. Cousins. Boogie. Boogie. Oh, Marcus. We dropping tomorrow, right? Well, Friday. Got a nine to five, I'll tell you Stop. That, <laughs> he cute. Man, this shit on Amazon. This shit might do a billion, bro. Everybody and their mama got Amazon. Oh, oh God damn. This is the perfect time for it to do it, too. Yeah, this shit gonna be hard. Because everybody at the crib, too. And the trailer looked oh. dope, man. Everybody killed that shit. How long is it? Oh. What's the final cut? Again. What's the final cut? How long is it? Uh, I think we ended up getting like an hour and like 10 maybe. Okay, like bet. That. Bet. Tell Draymond I was just playing about his shit. His shit straightening up since then. Tell him it was just jokes, my nigga. <laughs> hey, you crazy shit. You ain't telling him nothing. I ain't told him already. <laughs> yeah, this nigga selling Invisalign. Shit ain't even started yet. He on his first trade. Did a whole commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I don't blame him. <laughs> fuck it. I, 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 ain't nobody else gonna say it. Fuck it, Draymond. I'm with you, nigga. Your shit gonna get straight eventually, but you got the money already yeah, if it don't, yeah, nigga. I already fuck got it. the check, man. <laughs> That's what it is, though, man. Tony, you saw the trailer? Yeah, I seen the trailer, yeah, man. I'm man. excited about that shit, man. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to... Oh, I'm already ready, niggas. You know how many NBA niggas I got questions for? You see my shit? I hope LeBron come. Tell Brian pull up. <laughs> Tired of this nigga. He could be the champion for this shit, bro. Let's make this shit cool together, bro. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you, nigga. You got the power to bring this shit back, bro. You keep fighting it, nigga. Let's bring the goddamn 70s hairstyle back. Fuck the shorts. Man, whatever. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm going to be the nigga to say it. That's what we talk about. Hey, Brian, if you're watching this nigga, hey, nigga, I'm repping. Come join the team, bro. We out here. <laughs> man, let my nigga make it. I'm not about to let you do him like that. That man and got his confidence all the way back up fucking with his shit. <laughs> Oh, nigga, oh, whatever, nigga, whatever, Boogie, you strong hairline having ass nigga. Don't tell me what to go through in my life. You don't know about this process. That's why I need LeBron, a nigga who understand the pain. I need a nigga I can talk to that get it. Oh, you strong hairline niggas, won't you just cut it? Nigga, you don't know my problems. You tall hairline having ass nigga. Man, don't let him live, bro. Chill out. Man, you got this nigga mad. Man, I ain't work with this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Told him it's over with. And this nigga not giving up, bro. We was just talking about this shit. He's not giving up, buddy. Uh, my bad, bro. I believe in you, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate, I appreciate the second-handed belief, nigga. I take it. I take it. But yeah, I'm definitely ready, man. I'm excited. I mean it, though. I believe. I, I, I be no, you don't, nigga. Don't lie. They recording this. You don't mean that shit. You gonna get over here, be like, bro, you seen this nigga shit? This nigga got the George Jefferson. Man, bro. that nigga cannot be on my show, shit, man. <laughs> I'm making niggas wear suits and everything, man. Fuck that. <laughs> You uh, motherfucking yeah, right. right. Absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> but Boogie, man, what makes you want to get into doing the comedy, man? Like, yeah, cause you don't seem like no playful nigga. You you get real rowdy when niggas say the wrong shit when you get fouled, bro. You going you gonna get mad every time you get fouled, my nigga. That's part of the game. You can't fight every nigga, Boogie. You could, but like some niggas, you just gotta let that shit slide. No, nah, bro, you be doing shit you don't even have to do. You be arguing with niggas when you walking out the game and shit, Boogie. You get, what is that about? Bro, I be cooling. This nigga here, man. I believe you be cooling. I think people be yeah. fucking with you, my nigga. I give you that. That's it, guys, bro. But what made you get into doing the comedy, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Wanting to put that type of shit together. As a kid, my mom was a big fan of comedy, so when she was watching it, I was watching it. That's really where it kind of started for me. And then um, the first comedy special I ever seen was uh, the Eddie Murphy joint, the uh, Raw joint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like, it was no looking back for me at, uh, at that point. And um, I also became a huge fan of the uh, Shaq comedy stand too. They used to do back in the day. So uh, that kind of inspired me to, you know, even kind of jump in this lane. I started doing my own. I 
you know, that's a super successful film. I took the next step, and you know what I'm saying? Now I'm trying to put out a, a, you know, a movie that was tested. So, uh, you know, hopefully it continues to grow for me and, um, you know, see what we can do with this thing. Man, that's shit. We appreciate you. We appreciate that platform, All the opportunities that we can get, especially from dudes like you that they got the ability to be able to use your platform to put the spotlight on guys like us, man. We salute you for that. And Shaq, too. Shaq a big playful nigga, though. We we know Shaq. Nigga, Shaq motherfucking sexually harassed me on... uh, on Wild and Out. I see this shit. That nigga live. picked Chico up like nigga, a That infant. nigga grabbed me, bro. And I'm just, nigga, we playing the game and nigga Shaq grabbed me and started going like this and shit, bro. I ain't never felt like more of a bitch in my life. Wasn't nothing I could do. Both nigga, feet off the ground. Both my feet off the ground. Niggas gonna talk about something, get Shaq off you. I'm like, nigga, the Drunas Ilgowskis couldn't get Shaq off you. You expect my five, eight on a good day to get Shaq off me? This nigga sexually harassed me, dog. That shit ain't right. And we're gonna find that clip because the look on your face when he put you down was like, yeah. This nigga pick me, bro. We singing the song. This nigga Shaq come grab me. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? This nigga started jumping up and down. I'm like, bro, get off me. I couldn't move. We on TV. We man. on TV. This nigga did that shit. Big playful ass nigga. Yeah, he is a big playful ass dude. <laughs> but that's what's up, bro. I'm excited about this shit. This is about to be a motherfucking takeover. I done told everybody about this shit, man. We on Amazon Prime, right there. We popping up right next to the double A batteries and all that shit. You ain't seen it. <laughs> Go on Amazon, nigga. We popping up in the fruits and vegetables, all types of shit. July 10th. Yeah. July 10th. Get with it. The hey, yeah, they sent me a notification. Asked me to buy the shit. I'm like, I'm not buying me. Shit. Send me a DVD of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them niggas I want a physical copy. Of this shit. Right. Niggas don't even know what I was. I be telling niggas. I'm like, my cousin Demarcus. They be like, you mean Demarcus cousin? I'm like, nigga, it's my cousin. Got <laughs> now the shit. Now niggas know that we ain't bullshit. That's my nigga That's Joe. Joe right there. That nigga got the Joe coldest laugh. laugh. They got the coldest laugh in the country, nigga. Hell yeah. We in here shooting the podcast right now, so this nigga back there giggling and shit. He hey, that nigga, giggling Friday too that nigga that can hoop out. too, man. He just shoot underhand. I don't like playing with him. <laughs> hey, man, what we doing for the for the uh, for the official premiere? Yeah, for the official premiere. Posting some more. There you go. Shit, yeah, there you go. We trying to get this thing bumped. You can't do nothing now anyway. You had to drive past this nigga house and wave the way the world working now. Congratulations, buggy. Hold some signs out the window and shit. Hey, you, hey, look, watch me drop the official promo. Say what? You want to throw a little party for it? Yeah, at the crib. Everybody stay at the crib, but you got to get dressed and get online. All right, bet we're gonna do a whole Zoom party, nigga. What you you gotta bring some too? You. Why I gotta be at my crib, nigga? <laughs> hey, bro, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you, bro. My crib ain't built for niggas your size. You be very un, you be very uncomfortable at my crib, bro. I'm a tall nigga at my house. You're not about to come over the crib and be looking all on top of my refrigerator and shit, man. <laughs> They got to duck down. I got a comedian-sized house, right, nigga. Your exactly. shit got to be built. Nah, nigga, fuck that. Nah, nah hell no. Nah. I'm sure. All right, man. Well, shit, man. I appreciate you fucking with me on this one, man. This one for the books. And I know you've been putting it in. You've been, you know, the, the first, the first two are already classic, man. I'm glad to be part of the volume, the series, whatever I got to do to keep this shit going, man. You got it for me, man. Big salute. Much respect, much love. Keep the career going, man. You one of our favorite bad for guys. Real. Whether you accept the title or not, nigga. You and Zebo. You and Zebo, the meanest niggas ever to play. Gas. That's what's up. That nigga says gas. That's what's up. That nigga on the program now. They got that nigga in the program. <laughs> they got that nigga in the program. <laughs> he can't say nothing about that shit a lot. No, 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 no. That's gas. <laughs> hey, he gonna hang this bitch up and be like, three, two, one. <laughs> three, one, two, two one. three. <laughs> they got, these guys are all a figment of mine. <laughs> a little to you, bug, man. Hey, man, you better get Chico on that next we one, too, We coming man. for the next one, man. You better believe it. I'm ready for you, guys. Big salute, Boogie. We out this bitch. You know it. My nigga.
Bet. Appreciate that, man. If learning a new language is on your to-do list, Babbel makes it fun and easy to start having conversations in Espanol or whatever your preferred language. Es usted la nueva vecina. Look, Babbel is designed to get you speaking your new language quickly with daily 10 to 15 minute lessons. Es usted la nueva vecina. Es usted la nueva vecina. Bienvenida. Bienvenida. Yo soy la nueva vecina. Babbel teaches you real dialogue. You're not just learning words and phrases out of context. Es usted la nueva vecina. Si. Sí. Yo soy la nueva vecina. The speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and your accent. Babbel is available as an app or online, so your progress will be synced on all your devices. Le B. Nespa. Bonjour, Paris. La Vinespa. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, German, and a host of others. Le Bivé. Nespa. Right now, Babbel is offering our listeners three months free with the purchase of a three-month subscription with the promo code 85SOUTH. Go to Babbel.com, use promo code 85SOUTH on your three-month subscription. That's Babbel. B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Promo code 85 South. And we're back to the motherfucking 85 South show. I'm about to do my own beat. We had to take a little commercial break to do some promotionals for me. And now we're back with B. Simone. But now she's gone because her pee pee came on. She had to go and take a pee pee. A Lily. Come on, man. What my, my fucking. I'm not good at making beats, man. I'm a rapper, man. Yeah, we Hey man, much love to my man, DC Young Fly, man. Hell yeah. Much love. To our brother. Rest in peace to Princess Erica too, yes, man. Of course. Beautiful young lady showed us much love. Much love, man. Every time she came around. Every man, time it was she love. came around, bro. And salute to Fly for that one thing people might not know about Fly Fly, always keep his people around all the time. Always, man. He always show his family and let them experience his experiences, and we all do. And it's sad that, you know, we lost a, a family member because we all family, man. So, you know, rest in peace and, you know, salute to our brother, man. We with you. Know that. Right. Forever. Right. We about to come back in, too. B. Simone, your lip gloss looks amazing. Popping. I think that's what she went to check. She didn't have to pee. Let's pick back up with Chico. Hmm? You pee quick. That comes from celibacy. We're going to pick back up with Chico <laughs> on the three, Joe. We're going to get Chico on the three. Actually, let's get the two. I like the two shot, it's clean. Switching to the two. Let's pick back up with Chico. We're gonna go in, in 30. In Everyone take a deep breath. Rolling sound, speed. Chad, we good? How we looking on the production notes? Lows, we're ready. All right, bet. Uh, research department, everything good? Pull up some good shit about B. Simone. <laughs> Please. Good yeah. shit, pre-fame, pre-fame. Uh, Pre-2015. <laughs> Look up her middle school. <laughs> A mascot. It was a lion. We got it was 20 a lion. seconds. We got 20 seconds. Stand down. Shout out it's to New Face. Team. New Face in the building. New Face has the most. My unique man, New name Face is uh, expecting his first grandchild. Everybody, let's get a round of applause for that. You know how amazing you have to be to be named New Face, expecting a grandchild. I'm gonna give you one more. This is the craziest shit ever, bro. You really expecting a grandchild? Yeah. He looks so young. This nigga whole That's family is light skinned. For real? Damn near. Damn. A good portion of them. Man, that's crazy. Exactly. Exactly. And we're back. Welcome back to the 85 South Show, America's favorite black-owned podcast, okay. talk show, comedy show, <laughs> radio station, hotel, casino, yeah. resort. And therapeutic office. Come on, man. We're here. Hell yeah. We're this is the 85 South Show, something you can play. You know, when she come through and you on the couch and y'all smoking on some and Netflix ain't hitting like it was. This yeah. is the nightcap. Exactly. That's why we be having little exotic sounds and shit playing in the back. No more Netflix and chill, 85 South Show and smoke. And we are in here today with the very lovely, the very special. Mm -hmm. The illustrious. The illustrious. Ooh. What does illustrious mean? Nigga, good. You keep licking your tongue out at me, I'm going to show you. She be doing that, bro. She a lizard. What is illustrious? Uh, you are illustrious. Yeah. Yeah, here with I like how you made yourself one. at home, got your feet all on yeah. the couch, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's cool, because you know what I'm saying? It's cool. 
Oh, did you know the name Braylon means gift of God? It's an African American name that a black lady made up. That's what's up. Is right. that really? I yeah, didn't know that. the Brandon black lady Braylon. made that up. Salute to the. Because as soon as Braylon I saw it says African American origin, I was like, yeah, a black lady made that up. Yep. Yeah. Black... It means gift of God. Yeah, we got a partner oh named God, Braylon Edwards. Played in the NFL. Salute to Braylon Edwards. I man. never knew that. Yeah, he throw comedy shows. Thanks for that fact. He did one. Yeah. That's my yeah, real yeah. name, guys, if y'all didn't know, Braylon. That's what the B is. The B. Yeah. Braylon Simone. Hell yeah. But yeah, B, you know, we back, and uh, we was talking about the nine to five shit mm -hmm. before we left off, and you were saying that, you know, it's just the lifestyle that yeah. you was really talking about. I shouldn't about. have put a title on it, and I wasn't shitting on people with nine to fives. I had a nine to five less than two years ago. But tell the truth, if you meet a nigga and you like him, you ain't gonna give a fuck. For sure, that's my <laughs> point. <laughs> I've been there, done that, believe yeah. me. Cause, Cause I bet it's, it's a homeless bitch out there that's cold. I know it is, I know it's If I right. like you, I like you. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, and I that, ain't, I, what if you ran up on a homeless bitch? She, she like, excuse me, sir. Like, girl, you got potential, you would take home. Not home, but I'd I'm take her like, somewhere though. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like how you think. Right? I, like I, how would, you think. I wouldn't take her home. I would definitely take her somewhere so she wouldn't have to be out there on the streets <laughs> suffering. You got a big heart. You know what I mean? <laughs> so nice plenty of go. places to go. So you know what I mean? But my house ain't one of yeah, them. Nah, but nah, get yeah, you exactly. somewhere. Get you get somewhere you, to get be. Somewhere. somewhere to be. Now, do you think at this point? Like, you know, fuck all that cancel shit, you know what I mean? We ain't, they cancel everybody every yeah. week. But do you think that you're gonna change your approach now? I think I'm gonna definitely watch what I say and try to portray. You a better person than me. My wording. Not watch what I say, <clears throat> but make sure it's portrayed better. <laughs> it, ain't, you, it ain't no better. nice way to it's say no way it's I'm not it. saying a nice way, but. Look, just know this, this is one of the most Say it in a way to where people can't that I twist my words. In this business. When you're in the business of saying shit, you're gonna say the wrong shit. From yeah, for time sure. Time. You're going it just happens. There's no such thing as saying the right shit though. Because exactly. no matter what you say, somebody's gonna take it the wrong way. Yeah. There's always gonna be somebody that has an alternative uh, alternative, excuse me, opinion to whatever your opinion is. Right. So you have to be stand firm and true to your opinion. My theory is that I've told you this before. As long as you're not knowingly hurting yourself or hurting nobody Hurt anybody, else, be yourself. fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. Because at the end of the day, people going to talk regardless. Mm -hmm. You're right. They're going to say, they're going to have something to say regardless. Now, you know, you cannot contribute to that to the best of your ability. But, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you didn't been able to make your dreams come true. I seen you with the baby and shit in the Sprinter van. I believe that nigga like you, for real. Uh, he, how can he not like you? I mean, he probably love you if you was fucking, but. <laughs> he probably fucked. No, that, he man, didn't. We, yeah, he did. You he know did. that. You think I, he that nigga put her in a. He did it. I believe you I, not that nigga no put you in a way. whole video. That's how good your pussy was. Huh? Cause you've been saving it up. When that nigga got a little bit of that pussy, he was like, "This bitch going in a video. <laughs> it's gonna be me and her. We shooting people and robbing shit." I don't believe. I don't believe she. I don't believe she let him get nothing. I believe she. And really that nigga had on just it. won a fight too. That's a good point. You gotta throw what that in. What is wrong with y'all? I'm right here. I can tell you When a nigga win a fight. It don't matter who you, if you with a woman and you win a fight, I love that is God that. will put that's that on her soul funny. to give you some fuck. Like, this nigga is yeah, a Yeah, one dog. of my boyfriends got beat up right in front of me. Exactly. Oh. I was so pissed I had to go home with it. You see what I'm saying? That that plays back and you had to go home with who? The loser. Oh, well, listen, yeah, at least that's what I was saying, fella. Back? You see that? You see what I mean? He just, Los just made a good point. If you win a fight, she just said, oh, yeah, that's sexy. Bruh. My nigga, coming from a nigga who didn't won and lost fights, that should not be determined I upon. I him. I, I grabbed him like, this my nigga. Like, we like, for how long, though? Now, he got to he the can't, house, I he like, can't talk no happened? more shit. He can't talk no more shit. <laughs> hey, baby, you mind running and... Did you not see the jab coming? You, 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 you mind running and get my shoes out there? No, no, you mind running from that nigga that knocked you the fuck out? <laughs> Hey, but that's, that's one thing that motherfuckers don't want to admit. Some oh, it's some niggas out there public. that are fighters. And them, any motherfucker well, if tell you're not you, a fighter, you don't need to be talking shit. But I'm saying, the best motherfucker can catch your ass. Right. right. And that's, what, that's the point that I was making. Any motherfucker that fights knows that you win and you, you fucking win. lose. That's you, just the way it goes. Some motherfuckers can't accept it ain't your that day. other part. Yeah. It ain't your day. When some if day, you don't want to fight, you done you, lost, you done lost the fight unless you want to know. I don't give a fuck who you is because some days a nigga just had a worse day than you had. And that shit. <laughs> He's taking it out. That <laughs> shit. Listen, I didn't uh, court that. I'm talking about. And then 
I ain't even talking about the fights that don't count. Anything before the eighth grade, you can't really count because punches don't hurt like that. You ever lose a fight and you just be like, at least let me clean this shit up and make it acceptable. This motherfucker oh, no, ain't nigga. just gonna win. win. Yeah, nah, I don't, you gonna know you got into a Clean fight. Clean up how though? You gonna know because you gonna know you if you fight me, you gonna know you've been in a fight. But yeah, I yeah. can accept the fact that no, nigga, you won. But they gonna ask you what happened too. They ain't just about to be ass. That's an ass whooping when a nigga just asks you like, damn, yeah, bro, what, what you? Happened? What happened, my nigga? Like. I ain't never bro, been you, in a fight. What you do to that nigga, bro? Like, they're going to ask you, too. Like, damn, what you got to fight? Now, yeah, I whooped that nigga. You should see him. That's the fucked up part, though, nigga. At this age, I'm 37. Even if I win, I lose. Yeah, nah, Cause it's over with. Because I'm going to be so goddamn yeah. sore <laughs> for yeah. the next two weeks. Yeah. Nah, nigga, going to have to roll saying. up in this bitch. Like, Lo, what's wrong with you? I whooped that young nigga ass. Now I got to have surgery. Right. <laughs> my neck. I done blow my lower back. My lower back. Shit Doctor said, I got to have a back out of me. This shit you don't even know what's wrong with you after you get to a certain age trying to fight, nigga. Your whole this right here get to burning. You like, nigga, I can't. Ha, now you got to walk around like this all day because you can't extend your arm out, nigga. This shit is nasty. But that's another thing. Men are just under a lot of pressure. I don't think that people know the type of pressure that niggas is under out here in the world. So when Niggas we hear, got to be successful right now. Exactly. When we hear, you know, somebody that Or that's the perception, though. And, mm -hmm. and, and fuck with sound like they don't fuck with us, it makes... It makes niggas feel like, damn, bro, we ain't got no hope. And I know as a black man who adores black women. And that's why I say it's oh, wording. God. Right. Black it's wording. Women. I didn't appreciate I how motherfuckers thought I wasn't supposed to fuck with you because they stopped. Right. Like all these tweets, like, look at your girl. They I'm like, stop fucking with all these other musicians that say, I ain't fucking with no nigga. Give me a Birkin bag, nigga. Chanel me down. Nigga. Stop. That's too specific. No rub, that's too specific. They're going to say you. What's the difference? Shit. It's, oh, it, the difference is that's entertainment. Yep. It's a lot of shit that the music is entertainment. You Even don't though I didn't it's, say I wasn't fucking right, with it's not that, that shit with. like wrestling. It's entertainment. You can't take none of that shit serious. I didn't heard niggas so say, say it in a rap, they got bricks from four different continents at the same time. Now right. I'm talking about niggas say I went to bricks from the Philippines. Then I went to Africa. <laughs> then I went to Africa. Ain't never been on the plane. Then I went to Africa. After I got my brick from Africa. I went to South America. <laughs> then I came back to America and sold all of the bricks. It's like, no, you didn't no, you do none of that didn't. shit. You didn't do none of that. So but see, you gotta give you have to give that shit. Like you said, it's wrestling. It can't be real. It can't be real. It's I heard a nigga say he sold a thousand pounds of midget. What is midget? Some Mid, bullshit. Midriff. Mid who, middle who, grade marijuana. Who who bought it? Who bought all of it? He said he had a, a truckload of it. He got <laughs> fucked in that deal. <laughs> He definitely did. But that's what I'm saying. It's different when you say things. And you could have said that shit in music and yeah, nobody sure. would have, motherfuckers yeah. would have skimmed right over Just it. Say it in a rap. But when you're sitting down and you're having a conversation and you say it, that means it's, it's more internalized that way. Because if that same motherfucker that said he sold all them bricks was to sit in the interview, be like, yeah, I went to Africa, you know what I mean? Red eye. Then I got, I got the bricks from there. You know, my what man is this nigga had a talking about? Plane, and I, then we went to uh, Belize and got some bricks. We flew all well over the world with these yeah. bricks. With these bricks, you know what I'm saying? Then we landed at my man's private airport at his crib. He the plug. I robbed him twice, but Jeez. we straight down. And we took that shit to Atlanta, got it straight through customs. We was flying down 285 like, Skrrr! Yeah, yeah. Then I jumped out. Yeah, just put it in the rap. Jumped out, and I had right. 250000 on me. Right. Was not Let me just say. And then you got to leave. You can't leave out that part where we pl we paid the plug okay. Okay. so much cash that he gave us his whole operation. Yeah, that I forget that, that, but you know we did right. that on that weekend. But you know the plug like our little brother. Yeah, you know we fuck with that. He's supposed to be the big homie, but we bought so much dope from him. Yeah, he like our little brother. Okay. Then I okay. went to the, remember right. that night after we sold off. Right. We went to Magic City. No, nah, before I got to Magic City, I had stopped and picked that nigga girlfriend up. Remember, she was showing oh, me love. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I was yeah. with that nigga girl, his, his main his lady. Main lady yeah. She ain't had to be at work okay. that day. Like, right. She knew my flight schedule. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then I went to Magic City that night, and I built a swimming pool out of money. Right. It melted a little bit of the money. You're you talking about that night all the strippers started crying because you gave them so much of our yeah. drug money? Uh, all of our drug money. I understand. Money. You see how that sounds yes. as we're saying it? I get it. Yeah, you know I mean, it sounds completely different I than know. in the rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you know, it's luck. We lucky we doing this interview. I just got over the flu. I had so much ice on. Yeah. <laughs> you, you fucked him up with the ice. Fucked him up. That's why I ain't got none on, because yeah, I got to get my body temperature back right now. You know how much I don't give a fuck about it. I crashed the Bentley. What you do after that? 
I went and bought a Maserati. Gave that to my bitch. Why like, you buy a Maserati? Because I was there, you know, I had that to. Cheap ass I, shit. I know that shit cheap as fuck, but that's all I had on me. Right, 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 so then I died coincidentally. Yeah, I went yeah, and bought the Maserati. I yeah. got the Maserati okay. to my baby mama. Right. Yeah. I don't really fuck with that bitch like that. Right. I don't uh, understand. I get it. But no, no you don't. Because remember that, that Rolls Royce that you got in and Can got I on the something? plane? I own that motherfucker. You got one, Sean? You got a Rolls Royce? Don't worry about it. I'll buy you one. Don't even trip all that shit. With this money, we getting off this mid. Yeah, it, it, so that all of that is to, to let you okay. know that there's a difference. And you know what I mean? Like you sitting here down here on the interview with us. And talking to us like it's genuine, but also mm -hmm. we have the ability to be able to get you to be, be Simone. Mm -hmm. And shit, salute to Nick Cannon because I'm sure he does too. Like he got the ability to get all of us to sit down and talk. For sure, for and, sure. And you know, what I mean, that's just an element of how it goes. Like when you say stuff, people are gonna take it to heart when you're saying it out your mouth and it's not wording. on a beat. It's wording. And right, exactly. Yeah. It's definitely and wording. And timing too. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah, if I would have said that a year ago, nobody right. would be mad. Yeah, so I said it that. after I was canceled. Right, so you know what I mean. <laughs> timing is everything. The timing of shit, yeah. you know what I mean. Like you I got, might I got like, a, I show idea I want to pitch to you. This is a love. You do? It's a, it's a dating show where you got to find a man of your dreams. But all these niggas work nine to five. Yeah, we already talked about that with oh. the network. I'm yeah. not doing that. Okay. You're not doing it. Mm -mm. You're not. Mm -mm. I know some niggas who wanted to get on it. Really? You know, it's some cold niggas that work nine to fives out here. But the, that's the I thing. Agree. The it's shit. a nigga that deliver pr Amazon I'm Prime. Sure. I wanted the shit to come on I've at like one o'clock. I've dated nine to five guys and I've dated entrepreneurs. That nigga's strong worlds. and he can fuck for you a long time. You ever dated an entrepreneur with a dumbass idea? Look? Yeah, like <laughs> this shit works. <laughs> That, no, I, I have. Money. But that's a good question. Would you accept the thing? Look, 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 B. Simone, I heard you were looking for an entrepreneur. I heard you were looking for the entrepreneur, baby. What you got, sell, man? Man, I don't sell shit. I got a product that I, I improve lifestyle. See, this is what I do. You ever bought a pair of Jordans and the bottom started yellow? I got some shit. Take that yellow off. You take the yellow off and put that shit on something else that's supposed to be yellow and then get the color back. That's what it is. It's called yellow to yellow. That's a good idea. It's a nigga on Instagram See, live nigga trick you with right some dumb now. Shit. <laughs> exactly. Just because you want an entrepreneur, nigga done tricked you with some I got stupid. my own pressure washing business. <laughs> I do houses, driveway, commercial, residential. <laughs> I bring my own water. All you got to do is call me. I oh, pull I have up. an idea of what y'all can do. What? See, I know how to make them shit up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have an idea, for real. Y'all set me up on blind dates. No, I'm because oh. I, I know a nigga who already like you. Please, this, where is he? This nigga is a retired. Please, Simone, stop playing. He's Sit your ass down. What does he do? Street nigga. Okay, great. But well, this is nigga, he nice? He, yeah, he love you. Can Every he time I you? see the nigga, he's like, bro, for real, nigga. <laughs> and you get me on, bro, you get, Let me what, see what he bro, like. you get me on with me, Simone, putting money in your hand, boy. Just get me in the room with him. I'm going to take you from there. Let me there. see what he look like. Hey, I got a you cousin like to fuck with you, too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't like him, though. He trying to fuck. I know him. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he trying to fuck. Oh, tell the guy I'm celibate, though. <laughs> he said he, he fuck with. Are you serious, Carlos? I'm dead. Do you not know that every, like, this is the level of fame that I have? That what every, is he saying? Everywhere I go, motherfuckers like, ask me about <laughs> everybody else. They think that I'm just hanging around y'all. Like, what you want me to tell motherfuckers <laughs> when they <laughs> say what? <laughs> tell Tico what? Boy, you stupid. I got to tell him. I got to tell him. I'll probably talk to him tomorrow or something. That nigga gonna fall out when he hit his shit that you said at the gas station. Nigga, that nigga can't wait to hear this oh, shit. Carlos, Come on, take another 11 pictures. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My mama, my mama. Hey, mama, guess who I'm with? Chico Bean. Look at that nigga right there. <laughs> <laughs> that shit happened all the time, baby. Can y'all please set me up on a blind date? I Lisa am. Mo, you don't want to go on no date. You're going to bring... You look, gotta it got to be on camera, though. You got to do the shit on camera. You don't want... Listen, this is what you got to... That would be hard. I'm this is what you got to understand about a, a lot of men. I can't speak for all men because I don't know all them niggas. But... The niggas you know. The niggas I know. You got to understand. You got... A choice. You either go say what is necessary to get the pussy or say you want the pussy. It's uh -huh. no in between. So give me the, an example. Well, they just have to saying what's necessary to get it means that I'm gonna act like all that shit you saying I'm with too. Oh, you celebrate? Oh that. man, I'm, oh yeah, of course. That's oh For that's sure. beautiful. Man, you know what? I I've want you, I wanna be with you in 
and, and get in touch with yes. who you are before we even go. You know, that's an exchange of energy. So I understand yes. yep. that, you know, we Been all there, that shit. That. And then you got niggas like me who you going to run into that's going to be like, look, I respect what you're doing. I respect the fact that you're celibate. But I want some pussy at some point past whatever the point is that we get together with one another. Then you got niggas like me. You're going to invite him over to the crib, and he could be like, that's cool, you celibate, but I'm nutting on something in this house. (laughs) I'm getting your shower pregnant. I'm fucking one of them pillows or something. That falls in the the same I'm nutting in this this space. That's disgusting. I bet you that. You know what I mean? But My nuts will burst. So, so, but that's with or without you. That's where I'm at with it. Do you? You, but you, you don't mind if I jack off? Do you? Well, move your arm. <laughs> you know the value. <laughs> Give me some space. Let me operate. Do you know the value of? See, that's the thing. Men, men try to get pussy without giving up time. Women try to get time without giving up pussy. That's and we need to meet in thing. the middle. And there's and there's Cause I got gotta time be a, to get some pussy. Exactly. So there's a middle ground. So but you, talk about pussy. but you, but you, because it's it's so important. But, when we, but what? Let me explain. When we say pussy, it's not even this to me. When I'm talking about pussy, I'm okay. only talking about the good parts. Like it ain't just about the physical vagina. Like a chick who will look out, roll you a blunt. Like nigga, that's pussy right there. Look at that. That's what pussy do. You know why she do that? Cause I put some in the pussy. It ain't got shit to do with my personality or nothing. She is fucking with me based off how I treat this pussy, the relationship that me and this pussy have. Like if she picked me up tonight after I ain't, like after this, like you know what, pussy, pussy picked me up. She didn't do that. Pussy, it, it's a, it's crazy how we live in this motherfucking matrix. We just associate good things with just pussy. That's all I'm finish. saying. I mean, no, I'm gonna always let them finish. Yeah, I understand. I, I know. You know what I mean? I speak. You're thinking about the actual box that they come in. That's part of the pussy. Right. But the well, other shit. Okay, thank you. Completes it. So, that. what made you what make you that decision, say? though? Like, that's what I was gonna say. You what made you some pussy say you keep listening to? Them? That I was gonna be celibate? Yeah. I told you it was a personal decision. But what? Why? Because I've done everything. I've, I've you haven't done everything. She did I've right? done enough. You haven't done everything. Done you enough. ain't gave me or him no pussy. <laughs> I don't want none. I, I don't. You know what I mean? I could, don't say that. I, I do I've not want none. Enough. I mean, I respect I that, but I I'm don't. just saying that's what we were just out, talking about. No wording word. of shit. We were just talking about wording. the wording. See? Wording. Don't say you did everything. See, they have a lot of shit. Words. Yeah, yeah, no. Right, exactly. Because I know. Perfect example. Because if she ever gave me some pussy, the first time she called me with that whining shit, oh, <laughs> was <gone>. <laughs> <laughs> But like, where are you? <laughs> where are you at? I don't know. Hey, what whoa. You like all that police ass shit? No, where are you? Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm not doing that. What are you doing? That shit cute till you get some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now that, that shit make the, your head hurt. Make your head Yeah, stink. it's just a personal decision. I mean, but of all the personal decisions you could have made, you could have started doing push-ups or some other shit. Yeah, you know I, mean? I did that too. You could have started doing a lot, but why that? What makes you think that, do you think that you know more about a man by wait, making him wait to get it some has pussy? Not, I'm not even dating right now. It has I understand that, that, but I'm just saying when you get back into it, when you decide, <laughs> you know what, I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's not about the nigga, it's about me. I know I'm myself. Asking. When I'm having sex, I'm distracted. From I'm, what? You supposed to be. Yeah. No. No. What type of fucking is you doing? I need to Be-Zamo? focus. I need to focus. So you mean tell me you get some dick and just be walking around. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. For real? Oh. Yep. Did you shower today? I don't know. No. <laughs> oh. oh. Dick got me him as hot. No. Oh. I don't need to. Oh. No. I'm dick drunk. I didn't oh. say I turned into a zombie, oh. nigga. But right. So what I'm saying. What, what, Bruh, it's just, personal. She's a lost Why are you trying cause. to talk me out of my personal decision? I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I just want to understand like, it more. Wrong. I, it, I'm not saying this. That's definitely not what I'm saying. You do what makes you happy. I love you. So <laughs> I want you to do what makes you happy. I just don't understand the point of the shit. Like, I'm trying to get what you it's feel. It's a spiritual decision so I'm, has it what does it change Let my me spirit ask ain't gonna never connect right i there. honed in on my work i honed in on my business i focused i didn't have distractions from guys i it's a lot of things For i really? feel like i've done so much stuff i've had so, so many sex partners i've had fun you I've had had, a lot yes i've had really? i've done a lot so, so Barbara, that's what i'm saying stop trying to help because you don't know what she been she might be on dick 999 she might just want right. more dick and that's she out of love she might be in there got you I'm know not, how you keep eating your favorite food over and over again you can't do that shit all the shit, time yes the fuck i can Okay. I can eat my favorite food over and over, fried potatoes every day, nigga. I'm a simplistic nigga. No. I don't. I don't that's what I'm saying. Like that. I don't I'm understand just that to shit. Focus for a little I understand. Bit. Well, you didn't already. Now I understand. Long. When you Eight, said a nine, lot of sex uh, partners, seven months. Seven months. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. do you have a goal? Do you have an end goal? Like, I'm I get going it. To... No, it's no end goal. It's just sometimes you just gotta like quit, fuck around, tear your ACL, doing all that wild fucking. 
What'd he say? You gotta stop sometimes. Too much wild fucking, that ain't healthy. You gotta, I understand. I get it. I get it. So you yeah. think that it's the fact that she was doing some wild fucking. You didn't understand. I wasn't doing, y'all You said, the way you now. said it, you said a lot of sex partners. <laughs> oh, you found that on there too? Okay, what's a lot? Oh, this what, said no, that wait, you. Wait, wait, what number is a lot, Lowe's, real quick? Shit, I don't know. I ain't never owned a vagina before. And I'm not the type of nigga who. Okay, what number is a lot? Ask the pussy what number history. is a lot? Yeah. For me who? and another me? nigga, oh, that's a you? lot. For me. <laughs> for you, I can't determine. <laughs> Every woman well, who ain't gave I me some pussy yet is a virgin. I'm telling you. I ain't never even thought about who got the pussy before me. I focus. That you want to talk about focus? Now that's focus. I think I'm sitting there trying. I mean, if you square roots of 48 dicks. No, what's a lot of sex partners? Nine dicks in college, and then she graduated four Tell years me. ago. You gotta add in four dicks a month. That's 48 dicks that? before she met me. That's just she in a four year span. She said that. Nigga, I am oh, 37. That's, that's, if I meet a woman that's been having sex since she was 15, that is 22 years worth of dicks. I can't count that half. What, how, what do you think is a lot, man? If, okay, I don't know. It's just like if you have enough dicks to lay down, like from, from Atlanta oh. to Birmingham, and you can still 50. reach, and you got some dicks left over, that's a lot. I, if you're in a room and you fuck two people already, that's a lot. When you start going in places where people, you have already fucked, then you have fucked too many people. If you can't Why be in a room one comfortably. In that room? Yeah, if you done fucked two people in the room, bitch, you's a whole hoe. <laughs> Especially if they speak to each other, you're gonna be nervous than a so motherfucker. Like, what are they saying? I what are y'all talking about? I just because that's that's the lady game. It, you know, that is not hard. a lot. La lady game, boy, you you a be in the room. She a bit of fuck. I'm four niggas. You that never happens, know. But I'm saying that happens. But oh, if yeah. that happens to you on multiple occasions, oh, yeah. you need like to spread your sex out. Yeah. You fucking in two tighter circles. Why you gonna fuck two best friends? These niggas love and care about each other. They find out they both been fucking on you. You that never look at each other the same. They don't care. I, this shit. I, I, I can't determine how many is too many because it's different. Y'all give us pussy. So I can't be mad at you for whoever you thought worthy of getting some pussy. There's no such thing as too many, ma'am. If you think that a motherfucker is worthy of getting it, then you should give it to him with no remorse. Thank you, Chico. And no Do you understand how many you women have come up to, to us after the shows and want to give us both some pussy and we have to both decline it because we respect each other? Right. It's like, nope, you can't have both of us, ma'am. Your oh, pussy just is make them voided. Choose one? No. Right. Oh. Just, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you got you can't like both of us the same. That means we ain't going hard enough. If you couldn't pick <laughs> one of us, <laughs> if you don't like come one to of a us show next person. time, bitch, when you <laughs> figure out who you want to do. Yeah, just pick one, you know what I mean? But I I can't determine what's too many, but I can say I don't understand when you just cut them off all yeah. the way. Like, nah, I'm it ain't done. no set number. Yeah. I'm done. That don't make no sense to me. Why would you be done? Do you not like it? Did you have a bad experience? Whoever focus? made up the word ho was a hater. That was the nigga who wasn't getting no pussy. He had to find a way to try to slow down the way of everybody else getting some pussy. He's like, she a hoe. What? Hold on. Wait a minute. What <laughs> no, you she not. No, she not. <laughs> I think Ply's got the best logic when he come to that shit. What'd he say? That nigga said, you know, hey, how niggas come up to you and be like, bro, she a hoe. I'm like, nigga, I'm a hoe. Mm. Like, nigga, she fucked everybody. Nigga, I fucked everybody. Mm. We met on some whole shit. That shit changed my whole perspective. That's beautiful. Yeah, what, it was poetic. What did the card say? Um, it says that the condition that you were describing is called a dick trance. It's when a woman loses touch with reality because <laughs> of a man. That's from the Urban Dictionary. Urban Dick. Yep. He hit her, in, and they use it in a sentence. He, hit, he hits her in the head with his dick. I did not say that. That's the quote straight off the Urban Dictionary. Did you write that? Look, friend? my research department hasn't missed, okay? At all. At, at all. They mm -hmm. did not send me facts that are not facts, okay? So you was you was in dick trances. Dick was high. Every time. Right. No, not every time. Okay. But I'm proud of you though. Whatever I mean, you've been doing, you, you got to keep doing it because you win. I'm proud of you too, but not for that goofy yeah, stop ass shit. Stop saying so much. <laughs> I'm proud of you for all the other things you've done. I'm not giving you no points for deciding you don't want to fuck. Like that's I am. not. No, I'm I am. not. Because I, I felt, I felt you when you said it. At first, I, I was that like, deep. stop promoting violence and negativity. And <laughs> then when you gave me your reason, I was like, I can see that. I can see that. Move yourself to a safe space. Thank you. Because dicks will distract you. Yeah. Especially when you're looking at a lot of them. <laughs> Are you calling me a hoe? I did not. I did not. I told you I don't even agree with the term hoe. Because I think mm -hmm. that some people have a better understanding of what we're really here for. That makes sense. And hoes, no, I love hoes. 
Real one. But that's what people don't understand. Real Without one. hoes, none of this shit is exciting. No, not, well, yeah, the ones that is their job, but the thing about hoes is that they accept the reality of whatever it is they want to do and they stand on that. And that's a good, and, and that's like, you hear a statement that every woman got some hoe in her, like, mm -hmm. but just for the right person. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you want to conceal that is bothersome to me in certain aspects because you'll run into four other niggas and be a hoe for them and then decide you want to get to you when it get I'm to me celibate. i want to celebrate i'm celibate <laughs> i want to go out and i well, want to work in 2019 no, sir. no fuck that what is it about me that makes you think that i don't deserve that quality in your characteristic man brother changed. dudes that i know that have dated women that are hoes or date women that are they seem to have the most fun hoes are hoes? so fun yeah Hoes can do everything that niggas love to do. Play mm -hmm. Madden. Bro, hoes can parallel park a box Chevy on them sixes. That's she difficult. She can roll a motherfucking blunt while standing up, driving. That's hard, too. She been know, standing up driving? She could be, I'm saying, I ain't stand, never met no hoes up, like that. I'm Slash slipping. driving. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Because, you know I mean? I mean, you said that shit that you said, every woman got some hoe with them for the right man. Can you imagine you find out you the right man that can bring the right amount of hoe out of I don't know why ain't nobody made that movie. Fuck all these superheroes, nigga. They need the movie about the man who has who the power bring the hoe out. Bring everyone the hoe out. out. That's Immediately. Deep. That's funny. Hoe out. That's his superhero name. Yeah, hoe out. You know what I mean? Nigga, that's dope right there. We that's need funny. to write that motherfucker. You just bring the hoe out of everybody. That'd be a porn, though. They might not put it on no. regular TV. Because you got to show the results of what hoe out is capable of doing. But hoes make everything lit. That's why can't nobody stay in the house. Hoes is out. What? Explain that logic. <laughs> Nigga, they had a pool party. What's a pool party with no hoes? A swim lesson. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> hoes add excitement Low to style. everything. Yeah, that's Why you think is. they in such a hurry to He's open the NBA crazy. up? crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's real. That's real. But see, you, you, you hear this type of shit, and this is the type of shit that we subscribe to. Ain't nobody doing really no accommodations are. for women. Women are, they get all, they nice, they respect. We, men, most men got all the respect. There's respect. Look, girl, go ahead. Right. But you run the business. You think we about to invite you to this pool party, though? I, no, I, this I space is open party. for the hoes. <laughs> you turn up at pool party, but you turn up to a certain extent. Yeah, you turn up, stop. got a <laughs> cap on it. The hoes. So you'll go to the no hoes. cap. Right. F, you'll you know go to I mean? the pool party, twerk in a Mercedes circle with your homegirl. They're willing to yeah. go with F. We trying to invite hoes who gonna twerk for this party. You yeah. get what I'm saying? It's yeah. a difference. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. a salute to Snagglepuss. The hoes are willing to go to heaven's the Mercatroy. What do you say about that? Right. What do you say about and that? I'm, and no matter what platform I'm on, you're going to always hear me like saying something positive about hoes. Yeah, because we love them. Yeah. You know what I mean? All of, well, that's we, nice. We love all women. You know what I'm saying? We love and I've all been women. wanting to go to the slut walk since it started. And anybody tell you that? I really yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you been talking about that shit. For, well, I, haven't when we first, I just haven't made it out. Scheduling. Yeah. 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 Scheduling but issue. I support the hoes, though. You should issue. host it one year. Respect the nice. I respect the ladies, but I support the hoes. And they are the least supported. They and it get, ain't even about no, se not even slack. on no sexual shit. I just like the, the mindset that some of these hoes got. Some of them got some excellent viewpoints on a lot of shit. All right, give me an example. Like, <clears throat> like a hoe is the most honest bitch you're going to meet. Ever. The honest. Yeah. And the thing about what's exciting about hoes is they trick men that they fucking with to make them feel like the hoes. <laughs> You ever have this trick you had? You feel like the whole like oh, you get yeah. somewhere and she be like, we fucking after this. And we now you just standing there waiting on your ride like, it's a pussy. Uh, it's a pussy, yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you get it. You get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how you it go. get it. But the thing is, like, you being our sister and us loving you, like. Right, you can't be a hoe now because yeah, we you, love you. Know you know what I mean? And that's, and that's a very <laughs> real. We'll feel like we failed you if you was a hoe at okay. this point. I mean, but now I ain't going to say that. You could be a hoe, just be a good one. Don't be just out here I'm, being I'm, a don't plan on being a hoe. You miscellaneous know hoe. But we don't know what your next phase might be. You might just be on this right now. And then once you, you decide How do you that, know I didn't already have my hoe phase? But I'm saying you might have another one. Let me ask you oh. what that means to you as a woman. What is the hoe phase? It's an allotted time frame where you could just be wild and... Just young, yeah. wild, and free. Exactly. That's what that means? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... How many dicks do you count from your whole thing? <laughs> you can't keep counting dicks. That was my whole I logic. Counting you, dicks. No, but that's what I'm saying because but if that's the case, then how come every time you, most times, Los, how many times have you ever met a woman and she tell you how many people she really fucking with? But see, this is what the once, thing you got. Not at once. In, in general, every time you meet a woman, they only done fuck five niggas and they ain't had sex in six months. 
That's the no, standard. No, I just though. started in January. That's the standard. Last I mean, year was lit. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I'm telling See, you. See, B. Simone got some shit. She got a goddamn. She got that demon in her from uh, uh, "Don't Be a Menace" right. in the back of the mail truck. <laughs> she get the fucking and turn into a monster, nigga. Stop! <laughs> Don't talk about me for having sex. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Just to my past. We just want to See, that's what I'm free. saying though. You can't. You I'm can't free. count dicks because you can't measure the pussy. You don't know how much pussy somebody is actually giving you. Like if you actually had a chart and they put all the ladies you had sex with up, she's like, this lady gave you 13% pussy. You like, what? We had sex over 200 times. <laughs> but you don't know what she was giving you. And then they'll, you move down the train and be like, now this one, this was your soulmate. Like, you mean, she like, gave you 95% pure uncut coochie. You're like, what? Yeah, you yeah. can't measure the you amount. Can't measure. You measure. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, because you can give me the shit fuck four times in one night, and she still only gave you, like, one day's worth of pussy. Mm. You ever think about that? Yeah. She really gave you one fuck. Because mm. she wasn't giving her all? Right. because No, nah, because in the time frame and the amount that she gave you, it just, like, if you put it in cups, and it wouldn't even be a whole wouldn't goddamn. Measure up yeah, to it me. wouldn't be like a liter. Look at your yeah. camera, man. He back there like, man. Let me stop. Yeah, he don't, I, I, he he don't know. He, he, he don't know. Yeah. He like, man. That shit touched his lens too long. Because now his wheels is <laughs> turning, <laughs> and he <laughs> wondering <laughs> how much coochie are they really giving me? We're going to have niggas ask the question. Hello? Hey, so what's, what percentage of pussy have you been giving me over the past six months? Oh, well, I never thought about it, but since you asked, probably about 14, 15%. Right. Hmm. You know what I mean? But th we just want you to be all the way free. We don't want you to be restricted to none of the I'm happy. social. That, I mean, that's cool. That's the best <laughs> thing about that's, it. That's, that's cool. That's talking to talk me out of my draw. No, I'm, Who? not I'm you. Not I'm saying in life. Yeah. In general, this is a part of who you are. That's cool, but we just want you to be free to. At the moment you change, don't be subscribed to that shit so much. You'd be like, oh, well, if I let people know I snuck some dick tonight, they're going to judge me. No. They are, though. They're going to judge you. I don't care you. about that. It's only going to be I like four people. When I broke my celibacy last time, I was honest with it. Yeah, you did. You, you know. done it before? Years. You can't just be picking this shit up and putting it down yes, as your leisure. She said, yes, I can. Look, right. she already got it in her mind. Like, look, I'm only doing this shit for like 30 more days. Well, I'm, <laughs> cel I'm celibate right now. But that's now. the crazy part about it. What? At she, this moment. She, until I don't even have until any options. Until I get some more sex. Simone, lying. You don't got no options. No. There's not no such thing You're not going to be on my options. show promoting Never. that shit. There's we promote no, there's not a guy blue in my life that have sex dot com and go get you some. No, Dude. hell no. There's no such thing as a woman with no options. I don't have any. Any no. woman that doesn't have options is by choice. I mean, it's by, circum not, right. it's by choice, not circumstance. She lying because she got your number. You know what I mean? <laughs> you she are, told me it's not an option. You're a fucking lie. No. You a fucking lie. No, I love you. You're so sexy, Chico. Oh, See, that's what I'm I saying. Do it that's you. fucked Why up. Why you? Because you're my brother. I mean, that shit happens sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all got different mothers and fathers. We can do the stepbrother scene tonight. The fuck is you talking about? Don't no. need to just eliminate me from the equation. Chico is the type We brothers, of, no, but we Chico ain't brothers and sisters. Chico is the type of nigga that will hurt your feelings. Uh, I mean, no, he not. You be, I, I, like, I love you, I'm Chico. not going to hurt you like, thank you, baby. No. He's not going to hurt you. <laughs> get your, I might get your, your feelings, but I'll never hurt your pussy. Man. No, he wouldn't. Put that on the t-shirt, Chad. You know what I We selling that. I might hurt your feelings, but I never hurt your pussy. I use Chico for the voice of reason and a lot mm. of shit. He, he ain't that type yeah, of nigga. I no, I'm, I just I just choose to be honest with women about my intentions at all Look times. how Marvin Gaye looking at you for being honest. That's yeah, he's so mad dumb. at me about that That's shit because it don't, it it don't, don't work. Matter. It don't work majority of the time. I'm no, talking about. No, really good. No, it's not really good. I don't promote it for men to do it all. It's just, if you don't want to deal with a certain level of bullshit, then it's just what bullshit you want to deal with because there's no such thing as not having no bullshit. But not lying keeps me from having to worry about Doing the things that make like, me I happy. Told you, bitch. you know what I mean? I'm not about to be ashamed of the really shit that I want to do. You're really cheating yourself, though. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. What makes He's you what? think that? Cheating because himself? you out here telling the whole truth, and they still gonna lie to you. You don't just said. Lie. You just said that you. Um, they all say the same shit. Yeah, but I'm, I'm used to that. I don't expect you to tell me the truth. I just expect you. He's to, doing his part. You, I mean, I don't give a fuck what you do. My theory is, as long as whatever you do don't bring me no problems, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Right. I ain't got no control over that. Some shit I don't want to know. Yeah, don't you, show up telling me the whole truth do about your everything. Because if you did, I might not fuck with you. I don't want the whole truth back. I need ladies to keep lying about certain shit. Keep saying you only had four, five niggas. Keep, please keep telling me that. And then you can follow it up with some gangster shit and be like, don't worry, babe, two of them niggas dead. Okay, oh. <laughs> 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 wow. Woo. 
and take it to the next I level. I thought it was me and four other niggas on earth. You're like, what the fuck? So, so what qualities does do you look for in a Koalities. man? Just ni- a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, qualities. A nice uh, guy. Yeah, I call it nice. qualities for her. That's she Kawhi Kawhi Leonard, soft Leonard. A nice, a nice <laughs> guy. A nice guy? Mm-hmm. What determines a nice guy to you? Just a nigga that's a, off a nice tomorrow, person. got a bunch of money, <laughs> a nigga on a cleaning service, <laughs> nigga work for Luther. You don't want to work for Luther? <laughs> Bitch want to fuck George Jefferson. A night, nice, yep. For real. So, so a nice guy. What kind of niggas approach nice you? That, like that can what actually kind of get guys through. Me? That mm-hmm. actually oh, get through. Nice that guy. talk to you and like get the number and shit. As long as he's nice. Right. What the term is nice though? A sweetheart. So he got to come up with the get. Oh my God, you are so lovely. Look at those. Are those double soles on your shoes? Do they make your feet feel good? Just nice. I just want to make you feel good. Somebody like that makes me happy. Oh, that's, oh, so, that's sweet. so sweet. That's I'll bullshit. be fine, that nigga, man. Look at Marvin Gaye looking at you. <laughs> that's, that's sweet. That's yeah, well, we going we gonna to try to find you somebody that's nice. Thank all the you. fellas, all the 85. But that's the, not, yeah, if you're nice, just that. Just hey, be nice. If he got a nine to five and he nice, does it still work? Just, I, I want a nice guy in there my life. Nice Do guy. me a favor. Don't hit me about none of the shit B. Simone <laughs> said. I don't give no fuck. I'm not sliding nobody application in. You got to wait in her DMs like the rest of them niggas, man. <laughs> Diligence. My DMs are so fucking dry. I check them every day. Bullshit. Oh, Let me see your phone. No, don't you? <laughs> okay. I can't wait for you to see this shit. In other news, I ain't seen no strange titties in a long time. <laughs> Nothing. You might see some in her, in her, in her, in her, in her shit. Not play a damn some, fucking thing. Play me thing. some uh, brown areola music. This nigga, that nigga, this nigga right here, this nigga. Yeah, you... click their page. It'd be people with zero followers, zero Who posts. Who gives a fuck zero... about that? No, I'm saying it, fake pages. I'm Man, not saying followers. Bro, I'm not going to say this nigga name. Zero posts, zero this followers, nigga, zero, like, it's, it's not a real page. at... He hit you at 10.54 at night and said, good morning. He live in another that's country. A nigga, that's a nigga that live in another country trying to fuck with you. You are amazing. Good morning. OK, go to his page. Bro, you going to fuck around and find a dick picture in That's you. not a real picture. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not, I'm that's, not going that's all the way. That's what I'm saying. That's not I'm even just, a real page. I'm just looking at the messages I can read without opening them all the way up. Not I, a I real page. Better. It don't matter. This, these niggas is in here. You can choose. You got a choice. No, find me you. another one, please. Okay, find you another one. I can't wait. I'm don't sorry. go to the DMs. Go to the request. That's no, that's why I'm at. We're in the request. see me, Lois. You know what time it is. She ain't tricking me. Right. Look at Buddy. Hi, I'm your biggest fan. He no. fucked up. You can't you can't come off the off the ledge like that. If you're trying to get that ass, don't approach her as no fan. You gotta act like you don't know what the fuck she be doing. <laughs> you just damn you. What you do? Yeah, damn, <laughs> I want to know more about you. I see you got all these followers and shit. But this like, the show right here. You get it. Like, this is the show right here. We gonna this read is a, the show. I'm gonna read another one. Read you, another one. And you tell a nigga what he should have done, Lowe. Bet. Cause okay. it ain't many in there. All right. The nigga I'm, that said good morning. I'm is looking a fake past page. all the ones that that you know all these ones. I'm gonna go to 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 a good one. Slide in the DMs with some good shit. I teach you how to All be right, successful. This nigga right here, hello beautiful. Uh, she was. Hope you're that. having an amazing day. Nah, cause you started off wrong. When you started off and say hello beautiful, that make that put you in a pile with creep niggas. <laughs> creep, you sure. can't you can't come in and compliment too heavy too hard. That's women hate that shit. He should have said if he wanted to speak, he should have said hey be Simone or Google it and say hey Braylon. Because that would have made her look like, how I'm this like, nigga know my name? That would at least got your profile. That would at least got your profile clicked yeah. on. And this nigga has been trying for a long time. That's why he ain't going to be successful. Right. When are you coming Thursday. back? To, when are you coming back to Dallas? I would love to take you out. My treat, baby. She from Dallas. If he ain't took her out yet, he ain't going to do it. <laughs> All right. You dig what I'm saying? Moving on to the next See, one. See, ain't she in there? We giving niggas game. I get these. I check my DM. All right, here we got. Hey, beautiful baby girl. Told you, that shit sound, that's too much. <laughs> too much, too much, a heavy handy compliment. Which one is she? Is she beautiful, beautiful or baby, baby girl? girl? I mean, hey, he was trying to, he was trying to consolidate his motherfucking compliment. And then we got another one. Hello, beautiful. Here we go. Can it's every nigga. Sh- the, let's stop, out. stop this hello out, beautiful shit. I'm talking to my nigga. Stop this hello beautiful shit, man. That's nice. Cut that shit out. No, oh. it's, but it's, it's, that's the shit that old niggas say at the grocery store. Hello, beautiful. Where you but go? You sure are, looking like sunshine today, baby. You hit that one right on the head, because guess what this nigga said next? Hello, beautiful. He switched the whole game up. Can you be my sugar baby? Oh. 
I'm ready to help you Ooh, and you're going to get paid. No, no, no. Let me read this one all the way out because you sitting here acting like you ain't got no options. This Th- nigga, There's no fucking options. The, this, all these people are options. This nigga, I want to say, I'm not going to say the nigga name. Just know he got daddy in his name. <laughs> a fake page. I'm going to tell you why you fucked up at. These are all fake pages. It's creepy shit. You can't put t- shit like that. You can't put daddy in your, in your fucking screen name if you ain't doing some thought shit that's gonna appeal to a bunch of hoes. Like you gotta have some muscles or some big prints or something. Like you gotta, if you gonna be like daddy on social media, you gotta be a stripper or a police officer or some shit like that. Okay. You gotta look like you some, like you. these hoes want you to be their daddy. Got you. That but compliment, he, that whole situation was weird, but it, I tried to make it make its best you sense. You tried to make it. As I could. We're gonna keep going with this one. I'm ready to help you and you're gonna get paid weekly. Nah. Let me know when you're ready. I'm not interested in any nudes. Just chat. That's a setup. That's the it type is. of shit that people, you so respond, respond to. respond to that, I'm on the shade room. Exactly. You're so smart. There you go. Plus, right. you don't need to be out here fucking with old men. All right, there you go. Let you that be known. You be fucking with old men anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean? I like old guys. You, you like old guys? Mm-hmm. Well, meet them in person, not online. Yeah, for sure. There you go. Nigga might have a motherfucking fake leg or something. There's not that shit is wrong with that, over but all you don't need that as a young person who's on the move and trying to be My mobile and shit. My husband could be in there, but it's just so much clutter, chaos. Yeah, you gotta weed out the clutter. You gotta read these motherfuckers, man. It's a nigga in here that's been buddy, buddy that's been trying to take you out for seven, eight years. years. That nigga might deserve a shot. His first DM was 2014. Lady, ladies always talk about consistency. It don't get no more consistent than that. So, there's so many weird looking women talking to themselves in my DM. I don't well, feel no do type that. of way about that shit because if, if it was the other way around, I'd be the, all that Look shit at all they these said. Be fuck some, it. Be some, you're, you're being, you're being, uh, uh, I'm not talking about the ones that's that fine. Talking to? about the I'm not going to think they were for replying to, but right. you should. Right, that's my point. But yeah, you, we don't even want to talk about the I, shit that gets man, said Man, I get so much weird shit sent to my Nobody DM. We get some shit said. Listen, I'm what talking What kind of fucking phones do they have? Because all them pictures be blurry and red. Little orange ass pictures. Salute to the older Like I'm going to look at one and be like, man, I got to have that. The bitch with the witch boots on? Oh. Salute to the older ladies, because y'all don't have no cut cards. The ladies that's posed like this in their picture, y'all send a nigga DM all the time. Bitches, I had to listen, the older ladies be sending me pictures of prep meals and shit. <laughs> Getting these pork chops, get ready smother them in some gravy. You can tell, you, you can tell, tell by, you can tell by their name they older. It be some shit like, Dolores dot Rose. Like, what the fuck is the period for Rose? <laughs> Dolores Rose. I'm about to fuck with Dolores Rose. Dolores Rose, ready? Come I on. can change your life. And the, fuck had... the, the fucked up part is, no, there's probably a lady too. named Dolores Rose in my DM. Like, really, Carlos? Really? I had a lady send me. I don't a, care about a, your feelings, a, Dolores. A screenshot <laughs> of me. of the. Uh, the I'm the supposed whole to care shit. about some shit I don't care about. No. Thank you. I, I had was... <laughs> I had a lady send me a screenshot of the, uh, the whole. Jada Pinkett, August House and shit, and said, if you think he was fucked up, wait till you get a shot of this pussy. Old lady. I'm talking about she was old enough. Hey, I don't know what you're like, doing like to, appeal in, to appeal to them. And now it's really fucked up. Once I grew this out, oh, they really coming now. I like the little piece A that young nigga like with this? Oh, that's my bang right that there. Part? <laughs> hey, I know you appeal to them because yeah. they be sending me messages and be like, tell Chico Bean. I don't know if that's the voice they got, but that's how I read it <laughs> in my mind. I be like, tell Chico Bean. Come, come, you need to come to Austin and get a real woman. And it'd be her standing in the kitchen or something. Yeah. Like, well, one and, of them, and that's crazy that math we get, teacher dresses on. You don't know how many people said us DMs about each other. Like these women be said to be DMs. That's what I said. Carl. Niggas be DMing me about you. And just tell the weirdest Carlos shit. Miller, I love him. Tell him whatever I need to do. I'm like, you tell him. I replied <laughs> one lady. I'm like, you tell him. I've been trying for the longest time. He won't listen to me. I was like, well, shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell them, but I respect your consistency, ma'am. This shit is crazy, man. Mm. It's crazy. And it's not that I'm hating. I just know that one day I'm gonna open my DMs and I'm gonna look at the message. It's gonna be early. It's gonna be early. Got some titties. I'm gonna look. It's gonna be my soulmate right there. I ain't gonna have to see nothing else. This this beat go with that too. This shit sound like the intro to an R&B it song. Did. I woke up I don't looking know why at people myself look... in the mirror, <laughs> thinking I ain't got no chance Sing to it, get man. no 
<laughs> Sing it, bro. I was trying my hardest to get B. Simone to respond to me. Come on. But she's being greedy. I got a nine to five, but I'm nice. Blocked. I don't want to fuck not tonight. I'm Blocked. willing to wait for you. Blocked. I don't give a fuck what you do. Blocked. <laughs> I text B. Simone on the WhatsApp today. She didn't reply again. Blocked. I wonder what I have to do to get through. But she won't give me the time of day. Drop an album. Be some niggas up. I guess I gotta live like the baby. <laughs> and whoop a nigga ass in the mall. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she celibate, but like violence. She celibate, but like violence. Hey, That's you what never it is. said that. Yes, yeah, she Just did. My words. Oh, I forgot. She's controversial right now. My name is Daddy. <laughs> Maybe I need to change my name to the toddler since she likes baby. <laughs> That. Nigga, that hair you gotta be Harold, nigga. Harold, you Harold, nigga. Nigga, that's it. You Harold, this, this my Harold hair. right here. Yeah. Be Simone, listen, we love you. I we love glad you. that you're still on your feet. You Hell always yeah. be on your feet. Thank you. We just want you to know that you know a lot of the shit that come with what we are and what we do is come bullshit. With the it's bullshit, yeah. and you gotta make sure you elevate above the bullshit at all times. And even if you contribute to the bullshit, accept that you contributed to it and say, hey, fuck that. Niggas fuck up right. mm -hmm. and move on. Mm -hmm. you know Just know like you always welcome to my trap house. Forever. Yeah. Whatever trap house we got. We, can we do a mukbang next time? A what? That sounds like some shit that made you stay get abstinence. No. First of all, everybody calm down. What's a mukbang? That's I, when I, you I, eat and slurp and we, shit. We make bring what? food, we have a table, and we eat while we're talking. You want to do that? What, well, what's you the hungry? point of that? It it's get a lot of views. It's entertaining to watch a motherfucker eat and talk. Yeah. It's a whole culture for that, bro. I watch that before I go to sleep sometimes. Oh, is that the shit? Well, they no, just no, 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 no. My daughter watched that yes, shit. Yes, B loves. And she followed that girl. On, on but the they don't. She don't be talking. She just that be girl making noise, weight. cracking, oh, cracking and slurping. I man, she that shit fucked me up since one day. I walked past. I like that shit. I walked past my daughter's room and heard all that slurping and shit. I blew. What the fuck you in here watching? Calm, lady calm down, true. you're having a flashback. Bro, that shit scared me. I walked past her room, my head. Uh, I'm like, oh, shit, no, you watching the good shit now. We can't have that. She was like, daddy, what's wrong with you? I'm just watching the lady eat some crab legs. I'm like, oh. In my mind, I'm like, sound like you was watching somebody suck a dick. I just wanted to make sure you wasn't training. The fuck out of here. It's too yeah. young for that. I remember that lady first started. She was on that E. I love it. Then I started watching it. Like, the videos kept popping up. I'm like, okay, I see you getting thick. Yeah, I love it. Here comes our research department. What we got? Mukbang. I feel like I got to say it like a motherfucker yeah. at the beauty supply store. Mukbang. It's fucked up. They're going to get you for that one. Uh, whatever. Love y'all. I, I didn't didn't say that. Be in there. <laughs> Look at you, scared. Fuck. Yeah, babe. Became popular in South Korea in 2010. Mm -hmm. Combines Korean words for eating and shit. What the fuck is this, man? You mukbang the fuck out this word. <laughs> what does that say? Broadcast. That's what that says? B R O A D C A S T, yeah. Oh, okay. That don't look like that to me. It doesn't. It doesn't that look, look like, like broad ass. But, yeah. You mean broad ass? Okay. <laughs> mukbang. Yeah, so we want... can do that next time, y'all. I'll bring us all dinner and we can eat. I don't, I, don't, I don't Okay, fuck it. All right, whatever. Cooking. Whatever, be Simone. Oh, you can't cook? I don't. Nigga can't have a nine to five and you can't <laughs> make it. We are just breaking all the social customs and social norms this year. For real. Nigga can't have a nine to five, but he come home with the... the, the you gotta order oh, a sandwich. Gotta pull there a menu out. There will be food there. There will be food yes. there. Oh, cause you got money, you can buy no, a meal. No, that's not what I'm saying. Can you cook though? Like what? <laughs> food, my nigga. Can you cook food? Can you do that? Like, give me an example. An example of can you make a full meal? Like that lady that be in yes, my DM salmon, and smothered pork. Asparagus, portrait. rice, sweet gravy. Rice with gravy and, I love rice. and salmon? Yeah, I mean, those are the same things. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody make no scratch gravy Spaghetti. out the salmon drippings, nigga. 
<laughs> she and them like, give me that flour. I'm about to make some gravy. You made salmon. I ain't never had no brown gravy salmon flavor. I don't want to eat over here no more, B. Simone. Let's, fuck that. <laughs> you still got the yarn left? I, I take the mold before this shit. <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, I ain't never made gravy in my life. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> See, you bullshitting again. That's what got you in trouble the first time. First time you make some gravy and post that shit. This bitch lies. This bitch is a liar. Non gravy making ass. <laughs> and fuck that good meat up with that lumpy ass shit. You know how. Them pork chops didn't deserve that shit. Because I said salmon, asparagus, rice. Who the fuck put gravy on you know, salmon, nigga? Like, in my mind, the rice looks dry. Oh, lying ass. So I added You ain't never had fried salmon with the gravy. Ooh. <laughs> that bullshit. That making scratch gravy. So to answer your dressing. question, no. no she you cannot can't. cook. I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can. Embrace it. Say it on here, B. That's what I'm saying, B. Simone. Don't do it because you're going to fuck around and try it. Then you're going to put that plate out and they're going to cancel oh. your ass again. B. Simone, they're going to be on the shade room. B. Simone post plate struggle plate. The nervous. <laughs> That's going to be the headline on the shade B. Simone post struggle plate. And then it's going to be a thousand comments. Her again. God damn. I thought he was done with her. No, for yeah. sure. They you know be so mean? over me. They be like, damn, stop posting this stop bitch. Stop posting this bitch. So you might as well say it now. Bitch can't cook and what? I you know what I mean? And if you want me to, Sir, I'm trying to I make salmon gravy. Me. That's what we're going to title this video. Be I'm Simone so Salmon <laughs> Gravy. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> That salmon is hilarious. Gravy. I don't know why I gravy. said that. Salmon gravy. I'm like, bro. salmon, rice, gravy. <laughs> Bruh. The, when I said it, I saw the but visual and the rice. Here's the crazy dry. part about the world. There's going to be somebody in the comments like, y'all got us fucked up. Salmon gravy, good than a bit. <laughs> don't knock it till you try, nigga. It's going to be Dolores. Rose. <laughs> y'all really want to get on me this show, huh? <laughs> Yo. That's What's funny. next? They don't put bell peppers in their motherfucking. Come on. That's funny. I didn't mean to say gravy. You ain't put bell peppers in your meatloaf. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I can cook, though. I believe Thank you. I, I don't. I don't either. Fuck. You'll never be able to convince me you can cook after Saturday. I'm bringing y'all food next time. No, you're not. From where? I bring my own grill. for the mukbang. I'm going to cook it. It's all good. You know what I mean? I bring my own food for the all mukbang. All you have to do is Google recipes. No, that's yeah. not all you had to do. <laughs> no, that's not all you had to do. You could Google. You can I made all... so much good stuff from Pinterest. Well, did you, who else ate it? Nobody was interested in eating that shit. That's the question. Who else ate it? You heard what I said? Uh -huh. I said nobody was interested in eating that shit. <laughs> you can on. make all the food. Food can be good as hell to you until mm. you get some alternative perspectives. This. You Salmon gravy. Hey, you think your ex will come on here and tell us about how you ain't shit and how you broke his heart? My I read, ex? Yeah, I read about that on Reddit. Really? They had a thread about him. Damn. I'm just lying. You I'm scared. Scared. Yes. Hey man, that's why I'm the greatest motherfucker <laughs> ever to do this shit because I can make you believe some shit that you know ain't true. Because my last ex was sad. He was sad. He was sad mm -hmm. that you left him, or that y'all. Uh, I or didn't did, leave him. You, well, how did y'all break up? How do you break up with a nigga in 2020? I don't know. I haven't had a nigga in 2020. Well, how you used to do it? I just broke up with him. Just be like, come here, sit down. Miss <laughs> Mom, just, I got, just, that's what we need. <laughs> All them, them asses that you give, I just broke up with. Bro, right. what the that's fuck the did shit. you do? What did you say to that nigga? What was the process? Let us into your I ain't said, shitness. You're nice, you're a great guy, but I you, just need some time alone. Did that that's work? That's what you said, and that worked? Yep. Bullshit, B. Simone. That's what I'm saying. Bullshit. You got to let us into your ain't shitness. We know you. When the camera turned off, you'll be like, look, I told that nigga, look, your dick ain't stretched as long as these problems, my nigga. You got to get some more dick before you give to all these problems. No, why didn't we break up? I, yeah, why did you? That's how you know y'all broke up over some bullshit. I was young. My last boyfriend, I was 21. I'm 30. Damn. Your history is fucked up. <laughs> Even Chad laughed at that. Chad in the back like, look, man, he this said, salmon Whoa. gravy is too, Salmon gravy is just too much, <laughs> man. You ain't had a boyfriend in 10 years, dick in eight months. What's going on? <laughs> what is happening, Somebody bro? Somebody said, mm. What the fuck is happening, Los? I don't know. <laughs> you don't even have girlfriends. So no, I, I don't. But that's the thing about I don't ever want a girlfriend. I know. I don't ever want a girlfriend. I don't ever want a wife. You don't I don't believe ever in want a, I don't believe in none of that goof ass shit. That's goof as fuck. What was your last girlfriend? Can you stop playing the sad music? No, that shit hard. That go with the time. <laughs> we, that, you know what that be called? Salmon gravy. <laughs> Nigga, you want to buy it? That is so got funny. It for sale. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I said it. 
That's funny. Oh, no. When was your last girlfriend, Lowe's? Yesterday. Cause no, it wasn't. It was about ten years. No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, take that back. I'm trying. I'm just a difficult nigga, though. I'm difficult as fuck. See, you see what he just did? Because it's like he said, I'm difficult. I'm, I'm difficult, a difficult as fuck. Nigga. I don't have a lot of relationships because I know that I ain't the easiest motherfucker to deal with. And then having a <laughs> the motherfucker around all the time to remind me that I'm not the easy. This shit aggravating. I know me. You didn't tell me something else about me. Plus, I'm growing, and they be like, you know what your problem is? I fuck with people like you. That's my problem. That's why that I keep making the boy. bad decisions. Right. I this keep, nigga. Really? You're fucking with your goofy ass. What, what, do you, what do you mean? Because look at you. Look at the dumb shit you do, and they expect me to. OK. Do see. you want to get married? No. You don't? Uh-uh. No. I you don't. Be such a nice because guy. you got to understand that shit ain't for everybody. And the, the more I fuck around, the more I realize that I might not be your everyday nigga. I might not be able to do that. I might not. Cause you would be such a fun husband. No, I wouldn't. For how long? No, I really love no, I wouldn't. This is what I'm I don't telling understand you. about I marriage, man. This is I'm one so of the set in my that. ways. I only like to do right. like seven things on earth that I like. <laughs> and I that's promise a you. Fact. I promise you, I don't really like doing shit. I don't like meeting people. I don't like shit. none of that shit. One of the first things they'll tell you about marriage is that it, it is compromise. I hate compromise. Fuck compromise, because you know that what compromise That shit is means? stupid. That means we only get to do half of the shit we both wanted, wanted to do. do. Right. That means one motherfucker is accepting the fact that I'm not going to be happy with the outcome of this situation. And you are forced to do that under these Guidelines has been set by God, a motherfucker you've never met before. Who who t who made the rules? Who made the, why am I following the rules? Now we already got enough rules to follow. You mean to tell me I'ma pick some shit I gotta follow the rules to? Hell right. no. Nah. I gotta go out here and follow the law, cause if I don't, they might shoot me in the motherfucking back. Or lock me I got right, to make right. sure that I I got to make sure that I handle my responsibilities and pay my bills every 30 days, no matter what. I gotta make sure that I take care of my family. I gotta make sure I do all of those things without question. The world has set that up for me to be, have to do. I don't have a choice until the day I die, these are gonna be my responsibilities. And there are very few choices that you get in life as a human being that you get to make. And the, you mean to tell me I'ma choose some shit to where I passionate. let somebody else dictate what it is I'm supposed to do based on some rules that were set by some other motherfuckers? Right. Hell no. Nah. Right. No. If you want to fuck hates. with me, you want to fuck with me. I got listen. It's I'm like this is this is my theory, and you can ask and any that woman. Everybody that like, knows she He just like his shit. That's like, exactly what it is. He like his way better than the other way. That's, that's simple. And that's just what it is. And I tell, and that's the thing. You can't. You ain't gonna meet a woman that met me, and they gonna tell you that I ain't told him this immediately. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I ain't fucking with that bullshit. How are you? You can meet some women that I did. I done entertained so much bullshit. I had a bitch thinking I was vegan. I don't even eat vegetables, nigga. <laughs> That's true. You don't. Why would you do that? Because she Cause had that a fat ass and some big old titties. And it's like Kosaba and, and from stuff. telling the truth, you know what I learned? Most women don't, they say they want a man to keep it <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm, I ate tomatoes and everything. But they ain't never had a man keep it 20. So how you know you even want that other 80%? You don't know you want a man to keep it 100 until you meet one that does. Mm -hmm. And this is my theory. Look, it's like we all got to play basketball, right? Everybody, because I am not going to stop. I love black women too much to ever stop fucking with them. That's impossible. As long as I'm on the earth, I'm going to fuck with y'all. But. If we all got to play basketball, I respect the fact if you want to play full court, if you right. want to run on the full court, go ahead. I'm over here on the side court in the back with a tennis ball. I'm still out here, so if you want to come over here and fuck with this tennis ball, then come on. You might love it. But if you expect me to come over there just because you over there and that's the only way I'm going to mm -hmm. be able to get with you, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I lose out. You know how much pussy I would get if I was just a little bit full of shit? Just a little bit. I would see. I'm the type of nigga. I would commit to that. I would be that. <laughs> he is a better man than me because I would do that. I'd be like, all I got to do is wear this goddamn cape and put a hat on. I will do it. And I repent later because that's the type of relationship me and God got. I respect it. I respect anybody that could live their truth. I'm not saying I'm, against, I'm not against relationships and marriage for you. Yeah, it's just not for you. I'm just not fucking with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's cool with me. But if you do want to do it, I just feel like, nigga, you might as well follow the terms and conditions because y'all set the terms and conditions. I ain't good at this up. shit. I'm not yeah. good. I don't, I'm, I'm just accepting Ain't no at man this point ever dictated life. how a relationship gonna go. Ever. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I ain't never met one that's in a conventional relationship that's gonna be able to say, hey, shit going this way, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga, we'll see. 
That's how, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So I just, I'd rather be, if it takes me to be an old man with a dog by myself because bitches ain't fucking with me. That's and that dog gonna, gonna leave your ass that. sometime. Exactly. But he gonna come back. Gonna but come dog, back. even a dog will get sick of your shit. And that's what I'm having to realize. I'm not good at this shit. Cause then you get to fuck around with this entertainment life. You get spoiled. You get used to shit a certain way. And then you just, you know what I'm saying? You only have to deal with what the fuck you want to deal with. You can just cut that shit off whenever mm -hmm. the fuck you want to. Right, and, and it's just, that's what I, I say about just being forward about what it is you want. Cause at the end of the day, you didn't, my theory is you didn't been doing that shit your whole life. You ain't never fucked with a nigga like me before, so you might as well give it a shot. Cause you never know, you might just like it. You might just fuck with it. Not you, cause I know you already gets to put me in the brother category. Like we can't make the Pornhub stepbrother video. And I'm abstinent. Abstinent. Yeah, it'll be an accident. That's the beautiful part <laughs> about all this shit. It's somebody out here that's the exception to everything. Yep. Somebody gonna be like, shut up nigga, put this titty in your mouth. Next thing you know, Chico driving a van. No. Chico do what? No. Driving a van. No, no. that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I just don't happen. understand. You ever thought about this, Lo? Nope. Tell me. I know I ain't, because you about to hit me with some shit I ain't never thought about. Because <laughs> every time I By talk to you. By the way he said it. Every time you say the shit, I be like, You ever I, thought I, about this? I, nope. I ain't thought about that. This is something I don't understand. Like, you got, like, every, let's say the baby, right? The baby is your nigga that you just fuck with heavy. Like, if you were to run into the baby, nine times she out did. of ten, you would get the baby some pussy immediately. She manifested that nigga for nothing. Just out of, <laughs> right. You should have left that nigga where he was at. You gonna I'm show abstinent. up? You want to show up and be this nigga friend? Let's say, I'm like, girl, you don't get the fuck. <laughs> Let's say just you were just regular B Simone in Dallas, still had the yards. She do. And you pull right. up. Right. Uh, you just pull got rid up. Of it. You pull up on the baby and that nigga at the you know wherever wherever you he at the store mm -hmm. and he look at you and he like God damn man I'm only in town for rest of the day, but I would love for that to be spent with you. Mm -hmm. You going, right? Mm -hmm. See, I, I'm, I'm just... No, you going. Yes or no? You telling me? I'm asking you. No. I've been mm. in those situations before. As a regular person? Yes, I was regular. I'm still regular. I mean, I, I got you, Beast. Regular. That's the, two that's months the hard ago. part. Get the fuck out of here, Beast. Right. Get the fuck out of here. You mean to tell me that nigga that you'd have been on the... You got baby boy, the baby. I mean, I mean, you got me, got me, and come on, baby boy. You mean to tell me you run into that nigga, you gonna be like, no? It's not that. No, I was about to say, tread lightly. With the kid, when that the red light's okay, on, I'm like, bitch. Let's not use her. Most, let's use that's you over there, irrelevant. sweetheart. Who's a, a celebrity you find attractive? Or just somebody you find attractive? Don't say me, we on camera. <laughs> Ain't nobody just about to Hey man, I'll be here all celebrity. weekend, man. Make sure you get those that's, tickets. That's not a good example. Give me another example. I, well, I'm not she asking go. you no more, because I know she what you're going me. to. That's Ask a little me. cousin. I got she got you. a whole boyfriend. She ain't about to just tell okay. you. She's about to go Well, now you didn't let them know who the fuck it was. She could have just answered. She's on <laughs> camera. No, she's not. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? You see how so I'm look, this is why I can't. You can insert any random lady name. And then it turned into now. Because now he gets mad when people I'm not mad. You established it that I'm mad. Now we he arguing like we fucking. They gonna think we fucking now. <laughs> Tell the truth. Tell them you ain't fucking. Now. You gotta get that out <laughs> we there. not, but y'all could be. Anyway, be we definitely no. could be. But anyway, most women have Should've a man. Been good. Most I women have a man, and they get that pussy too immediately. Yeah. Does that, do and they, have a man and the crazy part is, the nigga ain't even got to be famous, nigga. If the FedEx man walked through this motherfucker and he tall with some shoulders, they gonna be like, bitch, did you see the nigga with the job in the box? Yeah. It doesn't is matter. A nigga that you would give pussy to immediately that day. A celebrity? Period. That no, day. I'm not right now. Not, not in this court. No. God damn it. Not right now. In court. life, one day. We're figuratively talking now. <laughs> sure. Yes. Yep. Chico, which one of them famous women you want to fuck? We got to use <laughs> you because she a terrible example. Exactly. She does not right now. Of course not right now. We'd have been talking about you not giving no pussy away the whole show. <laughs> I know you're not fucking right now. <laughs> but figure this is a. Have I ever? Yes. Okay. This is a disconnect. This. This. Let's fuck that. What I was about to say because that point gonna Sorry. take too long to make now. I'm telling you, bro. This is what it is. We have a disconnect and as a man, we were talking figuratively, but you couldn't let the what was going on in reality. She have, committed, bro. Right. She don't even. Saying, what is the point? What she are you committed to, to this celibacy. Is you have a man that you will get some pussy to immediately. That's That's a, that was the point oh, I was trying oh, to make. Oh, got yes, you, got you. You, you do, right? Okay. But then you have a standard that most other men have to follow to get the same pussy that you gave away immediately. For sure. That's a terrible 
way of setting up the program. It happens. I'm guilty of it too. I didn't gave this dick away for nothing. Right. But that's different. And then some of these women really had to work and earn my trust. <laughs> really? Been a thought. He's lying. <laughs> he lying, but you lying. <laughs> Lying. Whatever, man. I know. That's man. part of life. You're going to make some bad decisions with your genitals. Just don't make them permanent. Don't make it permanent. Yeah, treat your dick like you treat your social security number, fellas. Because the wrong person get a hold of it, they going to fuck your life. Oh. Yeah, mm. that means you can't show it to nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Be careful true. who you show it to, goddammit. You know, baby? Be careful. We do promote safe sex over here on the 85 South Show. If you decide to have some sex or if you celibate. Wrap it up. Yeah, and if ladies, if you are celibate, be nice enough to at least play with a nigga meat from time to time. <laughs> Pull your titties out and play with the meat. There has to be no penetration. Do you know how satisfying? You don't have to give me you some head. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Please. You don't gotta give up no head. You can just put the dick real close to your mouth and hum real loud. <laughs> but you know, a nigga will call his homeboy and be excited about that nigga. I got my dick hummed on tonight, nigga. I love this bitch. Like that. Yeah. Just, it, those, it doesn't take much. Men are very simplistic. Exactly. It don't take no. They're very simplistic. Like you. I seen a meme where they had uh, a, a chair sitting in the middle of the floor and a nigga with a PlayStation and was like, niggas really live like this. I'm like, how the fuck you gonna be mad that niggas can live simplistically? If I only need one chair, TV, and a controller, that makes me very simplistic. That, that goes I back to what I was saying earlier. You, that is simplistic, but guess what it's That's not doing? Need? That's not gonna attract no pussy. You could live like that That's if you right. choose to, but you know the good thing about it? If you're lucky enough and God believes in what you're doing, You'll find somebody who will sit in that one chair with you. And that one chair will be enough. That's the theory. And then she'll be so down for your program, she won't even give a fuck that it's one chair. She gonna be, in her mind, it's a whole couch. And she don't even want to sit on that one chair by herself with room for one person. She'll be like, babe, come sit with me because it's too loose without Scoot you. Scoot over. Exactly. Hmm. Love is real. real love, love conquers That's true all. Love. I mean, I believe in love. Love is real, but love is not restricted. Fear is. So For real, I'm not man. gonna let something that's supposed to be giving be restricted by somebody's rules. Mm -hmm. Make no sense to me. If I had to but give up sex, you can go back and forth about this shit. We've had make a bunch of money. So oh, we definitely do all the time. That's so fuck times. that money. I'm having sex. <laughs> What'd you say? Fuck what? What did he say? Said so if I had to give up sex to make a bunch of money. Fuck that money. I'm having sex. Yeah. What's money? Without being able to have I don't want to focus on nothing. Else. Yeah. I'm like, because I'm going to get depressed. If I get too successful and don't nobody want to fuck me. So you're long, you said three weeks. How's, what's the longest you ever went without sex? On purpose? Yeah. It's probably about yeah, that. Yeah, that's the It's probably question. about a month or, I think in between about four to six weeks on travel and shit. On purpose? Okay, what's the not on purpose? The entire time that I was in a relationship the one time. Right, that's, I well, in, I mean, I thought I we meant. no I'm not, other pussy yeah. that whole time. Yeah. And that was a couple <laughs> years. Hell yeah, that oh, shit. You didn't cheat on when you no. get when you oh, been in a so relationship nice. that long and you get oh. back in the street, that shit feel like you just got out of jail. Yeah, you don't know what to do. You don't even know what they talking about no more. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, what they what they what they listening to? Yeah, what these for women sure. for real? I feel like that. Wow, bro, when you in a relationship, it seems like all the hoes come out. Your homeboys be having the best stories. Yeah, boy, last night. And you night, know boy. a nigga got a story for you because he boy. come to the crib. You're like, nigga, come outside. Come outside. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Yeah, be some ridiculous no, shit. No, for real. Bro, we fucked around last night, nigga. Man, right? we met these we two. We pulled up on a dick sucking contest. Come on, man. <laughs> but what, the niggas that was supposed to get their dick sucked ain't show up, bro. Nigga hurt his leg, man. It was four bitches from Germany, man, and they kept asking us about you. <laughs> then you look over at her, she's looking at you, complaining about some socks you left in the living room or some shit. You just got a, you just had an argument where y'all done cussed each other the fuck she out about mad, some socks in the living room. She mad about some shit from 2017. <laughs> and you done missed the whole dick life. sucking contest. And you gotta Bro, go you ahead. should be able to go to your woman and tell her about all the pussy you missing and it should be some kind of reward. reward system. System. Like, baby, I was out today and I seen these ho I knew this little bitch because she wanted to, but I ain't do nothing though. He's no. like, oh, come here. Nothing. Nobody cares. You do not get rewarded for shit you're supposed shit. to do. You don't get rewarded for shit you're supposed to do, right? Shit. Hey, who made that rule up? You do you're get rewarded for shit you're supposed to do. <laughs> if I'm supposed to show up at work, you know what my reward is? My fucking paycheck. Like, don't, don't tell shit don't make no fucking sense. You get a cookie for That's, doing what's right? That, yes, you shit. get cookies for doing what's right. That would be I'm, better than... I'm saying in a relationship, you're not getting rewarded no, in a relationship, for, you for not cheating on me. I'm talking in a about relationship, a relationship. And no, in a relationship, you don't. In life, you do. 
In life, you get rewarded I'm for doing what you're supposed to do. The relationship is the only time where somebody made a rule up and said, you know what? Fuck that. You don't get no cool points for, for not being cheating a cool on me. Nigga. You mean tell me all this pussy I'm supposed to be getting and I'm just di- divulging and getting away from I don't get no reward system for that? Yes, my your reward is me. You probably really that probably fuck your karma up. For not being, being a ungrateful. No. no, thank you. No, I mean I agree. Cheating is that bad karma in the black world. Black men don't cheat like Carlos Never. said, but cheating is lame. I thought we were speaking from a from a single perspective, hypothetical. Right. Yeah, I mean, but now no, y'all I, put I, me I, in a hypothetical that situation. That shit don't make no shit. sense. I, I don't think that you should that it should be looked at like that. If a man, because you expect a man to have all the characteristics that make him a nigga that women want to fuck with. Don't know woman want no nigga, don't know other women want. Yeah. Some, some women like to build a nigga. They like an But once you nigga. build a nigga, that means you done built them for that other, the other bitches don't like them. So you mean. That's a byproduct. It is. <laughs> but you, you don't be building with the. You know, somebody might like this when I finish. You be building to your but likings. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, your likes, it's a lot of motherfuckers that got them same likes that you got. For sure. You understand? So if a man is, if you expect a man to be a, a man that other women want and expect him to turn down the pussy that you expect him to be getting offered, how do you not think that that's something that a man should be rewarded for? She, she no. You lost her. She don't know <laughs> what the fuck you said. <laughs> You plead to the wrong Yeah, she not, because she ain't heard nothing okay. I said to her. You taking that's the, not be Simone go. She just be sitting there. You taking the college this, application to the food step. Right. Oh, girl, she, she has nothing in that department creative, positive to say. She is nothing see, over there. See, I'm, I haven't. I you got a great logic. You're just shit. talking to the wrong people. Uh, I don't know nothing about this topic, honestly. <laughs> yeah, everything you said is great. This is flawless sex, logic. sex, dick. I'm like so lost. <laughs> Peace of Moe is Peace committed to the celibacy. She just looked up and she said, She don't want no hypothetical no. dicks. She <laughs> don't want no dicks in conversation. There's, there's no penises allowed. There's nothing, nothing going to happen. She literally, I'm talking to her, she said, <laughs> No. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. You just get always do that. It don't matter what type of logic you come with. If she want to say no, no, and now you get emotional. That's what she's looking for. Yeah. Who bitch fuck is this? Yeah. Who taking me through all this bullshit? No, this would be the perfect Slamming time to, doors and to shit. dedicate this podcast to all the ladies who used to be celibate, but you went back. Abstinent. But you came back. To the dark side to the dick, like you left something. Came back to the dick. You like ain't you know you something. was coming back. You just stopped by to say, hey. <laughs> Ended up in reverse cowgirl with a finger in your booty. <laughs> right. With after eight, all, South after South eight months of holding out. Crazy. Out. Look at her, they say, man, you know that didn't happen. Look at crazy. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's the same <laughs> position I was Shout in. Shout out to I all was... my niggas that don't know how no. to spell celibate. I'm not talking right. about that. Ladies, y'all be thinking y'all slick. You don't need that little bonnet you left at the crib. You yeah, come you to do. Fuck. You do need that. Because if you if you pay attention and she wake up in the morning, that shit be crunchy right here. Then that bonnet make them edges lay she down. She got a whole bunch of them. She just want to yeah, come over there like and see what you got going house. on. You ever yeah. been to a nigga house and start looking to see evidence of other bitches being over? Always. That's how you know you're living Psycho. right. Always. Driving yourself crazy. I got Always. everything a woman need at my house, to, bro. To, to leave evidence that she was over there? I got some of those washcloths that's 50% nylon, 50% cotton. Keep the pH right. I got some white soap, big beach towels to take a shower with. I got a brand new pack of those ponytail holders just in case she want to put her Oh, yeah, that's so convenient. Bobby Thank pants. you. Got the whole manicure set. I even got a few <laughs> pairs of slouch this socks is, over there. This nigga got a chocolate yeah. factory for this. <laughs> this nigga is Willy Wonka. I wanted, I wanted to be, I wanted to be herself when she come she over needs. my house. <laughs> yeah, I got a few pairs of small uh, 85 South Show jogging pants over there. I, I grab a few smalls from time to time. You know, just, you know, just to be thinking about who, you know, my guest. So oh, yeah, that's, that's Joe Lab. Joe, right you know I got green tea and all kind of guava juice at my crib. And don't drink none of it. It ain't for me. <laughs> just like the ponytail hoses, it's not for me. Fuck, I look like using Pink Dove soap. But it's a 24 pack of that shit over there. Yep. Feminine wash. What she gonna say if you got some feminine wash over there? You, what? <laughs> Think you gonna come to my house with steak and coochie? The bottle's full. Check it. Check it. <laughs> Stop making that face, man. You don't need. I don't need you here judging me. Uh, Fruits, she's taking notes. She's about to go home and ask questions. So candies, yeah. pink, pink star. I got a whole jar of pink starburst. I'm like, you want a starburst? What color? Pink. Is that the only color? Yes. Because you are a pink starburst. Oh my God, this nigga here. Uh-huh. 
See, I'm a nigga that'll have a jar full of yellow ones just to have a conversation. Exactly. Why would you have these? Well, that's what you like. Because you all about yourself. <laughs> I'm selfless. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good one right I'm there. Selfless. That self that was that was boy, that's why you cold with it. Yeah, but fuck with me, you would be I would cut all the water off. I would literally take the ice out the ice tray. I am that nigga. <laughs> and I it's best that I really be by myself, because I'm fucked up. <laughs> At I'm least all, you can admit it. I'm, 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 emo can admit I'm it. emotionally <laughs> empty at the moment. Really? Uh, no. Yes. No, that don't, that don't, you, no, that's not from tragedy. That is no, a pure decision. A, you ever yeah. took out the trash? Oh. You don't even like, fuck these emotions. <laughs> out here giving a fuck about people and shit. What the fuck I look like? That bitch don't love me. All she wants is some eyelashes and a lace front. <laughs> Look at you feel bad. I don't feel bad. Nigga, Say that. Right. Whatever. Right. And whoever in the comments like, who hurt him? It was you. <laughs> it was you and bitches hey, just bro, like you. I'm about to start saying that because that's what every woman say to me when I give them my perspective. Who fucked you over? You? Who hurt you? you? It was did. you. You did. Yeah. I know it was you because you provoked this conversation. You did this shit you to me. You did it. Look at what you did to me. B. Simone, hmm? I know you got to go. You hungry and shit. Yeah. You hungry? I'm about to go I'm back. not. Oh, I'm hungry. Where you going to get something to eat from? Yo, chef. Yo, chef. I don't got no chef. No, it's a place. Oh, you see, that's a, that's a level of fame I ain't hit yet. We got to bring that shit back. Know. What the, uh, the, that's the Blade Icewood. Detroit, nigga. Yeah, we got to bring that Where is Yo, chef a, Yo, chef a Uber restaurant? Uber Eats place. Mm -hmm. Uber Eats place. Mm -hmm. so you can't. Motherfucker just left like you can go home and order Uber Eats. Eats. <laughs> no, I they got salmon sliders. Salmon sliders. Well, don't let Thanks this. Don't, having me. don't this was be so gone nice. for so long, be Simone. Right. I love you guys, and thank you everybody that supported me <laughs> during my cancellation. I love y'all so much. We fuck with you. We fuck with you. We ain't gonna cancel you yet. You ain't did shit that made me mad. I'm saying the fans and stuff, because I had some right. Oh, and these niggas who watch this show, they never unfollowed you. Them the ones who was in the comments roasting people back for you. Boy, shut your little bit of head ass. <laughs> Check them out. 85% has held you down. And I'm so proud of y'all. For real? Mm -hmm. For real, thank you. That's what's up, man. We really on here creating our own space, saying what the fuck we want to say. People have a lot of things to say about the topics that we choose to speak on, but you know, now we have made it a point to speak on the shit that we want to speak on. All that bothers you, let us keep doing it. Period. Because we petty. People be saying stuff to y'all too? Oh my God. We had a whole white bitch write a letter to Congress about us. Oh, mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. I, got the, I got a DM I just looked at right before we started with somebody uh, ridiculing me about black people being able to be racist. Mm. Fuck them. Yeah. I, I ain't never seen a racist nigga in my life. It ain't no such thing. Mm. It doesn't exist. Mm. Sorry. If sorry. you know the definition. Sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're this. mad. Man, the motherfuckers invented racism and they gonna tell us because we respond and react to it that we race. Man, right. eat a wolf dick. A whole With one. salmon gravy. With salmon <laughs> gravy. <laughs> we out this we bitch. Out this 85 bitch. Cell Show! That was annoying. I thought it was gonna be fun. I was scared. Hey, welcome back to the 85 Chef Show. This episode is sponsored by BlueChew.com. BlueChew Blue brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis. Right? See? Let me get one low. What the heck? I got you. You need some? Yeah, I buy it. They've been sending them to my house ever since we started doing this shit. For real? Yeah, I got a gang of them in the house. I got they work? Yeah. That's they big. Hey, Blue Chew is made in the USA, so you can have it delivered to your house so you don't have to go wait in line or go to the doctor. Hey, it's even cheaper than a pharmacy, and they ship and prepare to you right in a discreet package. Nobody will ever know that you're getting your groove on. Right now, we got a special deal for all our listeners. Go to the website right now and use the promo code VIBE so you can get a special discount and tell them I sent you. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code VIBE. That's blue like the color, chew like eating, and dot like come. Okay, check this out. This is the best part. Look, since the pills are chewable, 
They work twice as fast. So you can be ready whenever you want to. Isn't that crazy? We ready to go? We'll start this bitch off right now. About to read some comments. Yes, indeed. We're about to read some comments from the YouTube page. It's this girl named Latoya Ray. She left a comment about three days ago. She said, this podcast is for people who got a Walmart bag. Full of Walmart bags. Uh, uh-huh. that makes sense. This podcast is for everybody that knows that now is Manny Fresh's body double. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jamal Johnson. Shay Shay said, just for feet used to have the half court and the popcorn goat shoe store, especially during school shopping. Got to play basketball and get a snack while waiting on your mama to find the best deal. Shay Shay be knowing. Okay. Just for feet. I'm telling you, just for feet held a whole community down. Nigga, you was playing. I believe it. She, this, uh, Tamika Smith, she's trying to purchase a black Wall Street shirt. They all over the place, baby. Get online and go find you a black owned boutique. The one I like to go to is Melanin Apparel. That's a free promo. Go to them. They got some dope ass black owned t shirts. And this one says, Chico seemed like the friend who come around and never have weed, but always got the blunts. (laughs) <laughs> well, that's a wrong assessment, but I respect it. You got damn right. Chico Bean always got some loud ducked off. Janae Jones said she was being catfished by someone who was using my pictures. Oh man. And they didn't realize it until the third picture. She said, Carlos, your clone promised me some deep thug stroke. Well, Janae Jones, if you can provide proof that you were promised some deep strokes from me, thug strokes. As you call it, we will redeem that offer because we are here to beat competitive prices. We honor all competitive coupons. Yeah. Okay, Shanita Camps says she love it when they include clips about what we're talking about. Saves her time in research, and then she's instantly more involved in the conversation because they showed it. Thanks, 85 South Show. Shanita Camp. This is what this podcast is for. People like you who need to be spoon fed. <laughs> well, follow me, chicken, because I got the coin. Cosmic Honey says, I love when y'all bring Nav. He is the homie of homies. You got damn right. It's a nigga named OJ Compton that's been in the hospital for five days because he caught the COVID 19. He said, The 85 South Show really knows how to get a sick guy like me laughing. Boy, get your sick ass up out that bed. <laughs> no, nah, man, for real. Shout out to OJ Compton. I hope you kick COVID in the nuts. Hope you better, G. All right, let's keep this rolling. Maria said, did DC sell the Astro van? I swear I saw one out there in Denver with Georgia Plates. Yes. Chances DC are, did. chances are, DC did sell that he van and he got his van. asking price. Don't listen to me because I don't know shit. Somebody was talking about the pussy hair conversation. My name, Matt Birch, says he's straight with the landing strip, but too much hair, you can't find it. Like it's a mystery. Well, you Matt Birch, what kind of man is you? You can't right. find the pussy. pussy. What type of shit is that, Matt Bro, Birch? I would never admit that shit in public. I would buy one of those hats with the light on the front before I told right. somebody I couldn't find the pussy. Right. Matt Birch, you sound like you manage a bed, bath, and beyond with that bullshit. <laughs> hey, Matt, let me give you some advice. Look for the wet spot. You'll find that pussy soon enough. Some of those pussies are tucked under there like a small block Chevy. You got to go under that leg. It's under there, though. Has anybody tried Blue Chew? Why are you asking this in the comments if I told you I tried it, you goofy uh, mother? Yes, and it worked. That shit works. I'm talking about you can fuck an eyebrow off. Like, you know how bitches draw eyebrows on? They don't stand a chance. Oh, my God. Let me skip over some of this. Because, you know, I don't care nothing about the dude who runs the country. I don't give a yeah, shit no. about none of that. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, that right there. Yeah, uh, shout out to D.L. Hughley. He has been on Terry Hughes' ass. I mean, Terry Crews. I call him Terry, Terry Hughes. Hughes. Who is Terry Hughes? Uh, probably a nigga that fuck with Terry Crews. Yeah, well, anyway, I ain't gonna get into much detail, but D.L. Hughley been on his ass. As he should. For real, got a gospel docuseries coming out. 
for real got a gospel docu series. Yeah. That means he done did more than one. I can't wait to see it. Me deep. I know the hat's gonna be extravagant on that one. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Sure will. Sure will. Shout out to all these people who getting these uh, PPE loans, these small business loans. Hey man, take advantage, man. Take advantage. Taco Bell got a bunch of money from the government. Yep. A lot yep, of people got a bunch of money from the government. They need to stop doing whatever it's causing niggas to have the shit instantly from eating the food. Oh, here goes some good news. Let's it. move on to sports. Check this out. This is how you know LeBron James is a real nigga. Right. J.R. Smith signs a one-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm just going to let, let that, that bitch breathe for a minute. Exactly. Because I ain't mad at that. JR, that nigga, man. Salute to JR. Yeah, yeah. Dwight Howard. So he giving up his whole salary right now. His Colin Kaepernick salary. got a documentary coming out with Ava DuVernay. Is that how you say that? Yeah. I, I said that shit right? Yep. Ava DuVernay. Try. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of her, but for some reason, I just don't feel like she would like me. Why? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. Man, Ava DuVernay would love us. I don't know. I guess uh, she, she probably like you. Fuck with us. You yeah. know, I ain't the nicest nigga. For some reason, it don't come across that way. Whatever. I'm really the nicest nigga, but I, just, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, the NFL gonna play Lift Every Voice. I don't know who made this the Black National Anthem, but I, I kind of disagree with that shit. I don't know the words to the Black National Anthem. I do. And I don't All of them? Not the second verse. Nigga, you know verses to songs nobody gives a shit about. You're right, but I know that one. But I'm just saying, I don't understand why the NFL, what is that going to do, NFL? What is that going to do, man? Oh, this some bullshit. The WNBA Atlanta Dream co-owner, Senator Kelly Lop Loafler, is Loafer, Loafler, she is against the WNBA's support of black lives. She wrote a letter to the WNBA commission. Kelly Loafler, fuck you. I'm glad that news was on the page by itself. What type of motherfucking mad that some niggas want to stop getting killed? That's some stupid yeah, exactly. shit. Exactly. Speaking of stupid shit, there's a lot of stupid shit going on. What you got? Uh, we got uh. You gotta read all that nah, shit. No, no, I'm not gonna read all. Only that. read the shit that interests you. Uh, Ti calls out Fifty Cent for a versus battle. You yep. Know what I mean? Yep. See that one? Hell yeah. I want to see it too. I, I you know, I'm going to tell you the day I stopped becoming, when I was, I used to be a 50 Cent fan. Okay. Not saying that I does this wrong with 50 Cent, but 50, when he dropped Candy Shop, mm -hmm. and then he dropped that amusement park shit, mm -hmm. I was done. Okay, you ain't like that? I did not like that. Okay. My favorite 50 Cent song is called In My Hood, and it's on the Massacre CD. Yeah, In, In My, my hood, hood, niggas yeah. is grimy. Me. I go nowhere That's without my he's, strap. He's In my hood. Niggas screw they face up at me. On some real shit, son, they don't <laughs> want me. me. Come on, I'm nigga. I'm back, aim that shit out the window and spread that. And the shell left in my head. That nigga, nigga, nigga went the fuck up. Out. Yeah, he went, he went off. But hey, he, that's he went, one of the hardest 50 Cent songs, right, it bro. is, but tip. Boy. Tip got some hits. Woo. Tip got hit hits. Woo. And then see, they no, gonna sleep on they tip, gonna say boy. we tip showing the coldest on the mic ever. They say they're gonna say we showing favoritism because we, we fuck with Tip, but if that is not uh, the case. I'm just thinking, I think that'll be a good battle. Me too. I think it'll be an awesome battle. Cause and I think that the the and salute to Jada and uh and, and Fab that did this, that was dope. I just think that it'll be dope to be able to to see that come Tell together. The truth, man. You thought that one was gonna be closer, didn't you? It was closer. A lot of them versus battles, you got to watch back again. Like, because when you watch it the first time, you caught up in it, and you know what I mean? You see how it go. But when you watch it back, it don't be as distanced as it seemed when you're reading the comments and all that right. shit. But, you know, the TI 50 would be a dope one to watch. I, when I watch them, I don't never really see a clear winner or loser. There is no winner or loser. Right, right, Everybody right. wins. Everybody wins when we do that because it's really putting black excellence on display. Right. You know what I mean? And all of the shit that goes Who go would you want to see Marvin Gaye do a versus battle with? Who would I want to see Marvin Gaye do? Ooh. Smokey Robinson. Ooh. Even though Smokey came out with the gang, gang banging, bang <laughs> gang banging, bang that shit a hit. <laughs> Fuck y'all, nigga. Smoking that, that smoke, wasting your time. <laughs> Gang banging. Hey, that shit is a hit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Salute to Smokey, nigga. You can't do okay, no Okay, one wrong. more. Who would that who would you want to see the Asley brothers in a versus battle with? The Asley brothers. I Ooh. want them to do a versus battle, but I want them to like be sitting down and like they nephew having to play the shit. Yeah, they're gonna have to. Yeah, the somebody Asley grandson. Asley brothers. Who would be a good nah? The Asley brothers versus the OJs. Oh, that'd be hard. The OJs. Boy, that'd be, that'd be a cold one. Them niggas get to dropping them classy. It's so many, man. You know, I like to see Frankie Beverly go against the motherfucker too, man. 
Frankie Beverly, woo. Who you think Frankie Beverly be a good again? Uh, shit. Frankie Beverly. I want to say goddamn. Hell yeah, that's exactly that's who I was about. The Gap man. Band. The Gap Charlie Band. Charlie Wilson, nigga, that'd be dope. And then you got the Gap Band and the Versus the Maze. Woo! Mm. That'll be cold, man. Hey, versus, holler at us, man. We can set these lineups up for you. Come on, man. We ain't doing too much of this shit. All right, now we got to be obscure. Obscure versus battle. Obscure. 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 Lil Mama versus. <laughs> Let me think on that one. Let me think on that one. Lil Mama versus whoever made the chicken noodle soup song. Yeah, we say Huh? Bianca. Bianca. Lil Mama versus Bianca. Yep. Obscure versus Battles. Mm. Um, Ace Boogie in the hoodie. Ace Boogie in the hoodie got some hits. I know, but who we going to battle? Who we going to battle? Shy uh, Glizzy. Shy Glizzy. Salute to Shy Glizzy. DC nigga. That'll be dope. That'll be dope. That'll be dope. I'd like to see you know, this be a good Young one. Boy and Lil Baby Ooh. go with the new Young nigga shit. Why you shaking your head? You don't fuck with that one? Why don't you? You ever listen to NBA Young Boy? He that, had to battle somebody. He had to battle. You haven't. So that's what I know. When you said that, that let me know you ain't never he listened might have to Young to, Boy. He, see, I think that he might have to battle Lil Uzi Vert or somebody. Lil Uzi Vert, not Lil Uzi Vert. Would have to go against somebody. Vert would have to go against somebody else. That's Travis like the Car no, nah, not Cardi. Travis Scott. Yeah, yeah. Travis Scott. You know what I mean? Because Lil Uzi be going off, man. Ooh, Meg The Stallion versus Lady of Rage. Switch it up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Switch Queen it up. Latifah. Quentin, no, that wouldn't be fair. Yo, oh, that wouldn't be fair. Yo, 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 you can't play with my yo, yo. That was a clay. Hey, yo, yo, that shit. Okay, give me a one that, hit. Give me a one hit wonder. Uh, what? what? No, nah, disrespectful. Smiles, smiles and South Star. Versus, uh, this is why I'm hot. But look, this the, this the killer. Me this the killer, though. This the killer. They got to play their biggest song first. first and, and then, then the they got to play the rest of the album. <laughs> That's it. And the shit the nobody judge, heard. Nobody heard it. We get to judge which album was the best because ain't nobody heard this shit. Salute to everybody. But we try to, hey, this is... This shit work. Don't be offended if that's you a good. That's a whole nother land. That's a whole Niggas got to play their first album. Their first album. The first one. Even if we never, if you got one, if we need to have a one hit wonder versus where they play their biggest song first and then Get that out the way. album. And whoever got the best songs that they play from the album is the winner. Oh. Man, we, they owe us the verses. Holler at us, man. I'm telling you, we can be on the marketing team. Hey, give me man. one more. Give me one more before we, we dip. Give me one, one more. more. One, one more. One more obscure one. Obscure. Ooh, Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker versus, versus ooh, somebody crazy. Crunchy Black. Crunchy, Crunchy Black. Black. Crunchy Black do got an album. So Crunchy <laughs> Black definitely got an album. And, and, and it's the same type of rhyme style. You know what I mean? I mean, that is a style. The style is the no style. You know what I'm saying? Because Crunchy Black just get on the song and talk, yeah, I rob, yeah, I steal, yeah, I put your body in the field. That was very descriptive, Crunchy. Appreciate that one. That's a classic. Mm. Obscure ones. Let's keep, we got to mm. get one more. One more obscure one. Mm. Obscure ones that people wouldn't expect to see. Let's see. Uh, you know who I like to see go against somebody? I like to see, and this is the uh, upstate New York one, I like to see AZ underrated versus battle az is one of my favorite mcs ever that nigga is so cold that but guess who he gonna have to battle, cool. battle though cool g rap cool g rap az and cool g rap will be i'm not talking crazy. songs i'm talking style, style on this one for real that because i mean if you if you ain't never listened to az put forth that effort that he put forth on the mic man i mean he just cut Life's a bitch. Listen to Life's a bitch and listen to AZ verse. Visualizing the realism of life and actuality. Fuck with the baddest of person status. Depends on salary and my mentality is money orientated. I'm destined to live the dream for all my peeps who never made it. Boy, went crazy. But Cool G Rap is the first gangster rapper. In my, I mean, like, that really got on the mic and said gangster shit. Like, I'm going to pull up to the crib and shoot you twice. That was that nigga. It's another nigga like the one you just by hearing what you're talking about, nigga. Raekwon like that. Raekwon. And Ghostface, too. Ghost. I like how Ghostface will come yeah. in and it's like, he don't never start the verse. That nigga, like, he was just walking in and he'll just start wherever he came to the mic. And, hey, yo, I was outside, had the Wally's on. She came from Coney Island. She had a, I was like, what? 
Exactly. Every rap is a story, nigga, That's but it shit it. sounds so believable. Plucking roaches out the cereal box. Come on, man. I didn't like to sleep with John John. He peed to bed. Mm -hmm. Mommy, where's the toilet paper? Use the, the newspaper. newspaper. You know what I mean? You know who I like to see go? 8-Ball and MJG. I like to see 8-Ball and MJG. And even though, even though, you know, he, he's not here no more, yeah. UGK. You that shit would be two my, hours. One of my, exactly. That'd Pimp be two my, hours. My idols, man. You know, that shit would turn into a mixtape. Salute the, the Miss, you know, Butler. You know, she showed up. Okay, this would be crazy. And everything, but I'm going to get your opinion that. on this one. Down South shit. New face, what you think? Project Pat versus Juvenile. Ooh. That'd be tough. That'd be tough. Okay, so what's Project Pat? Uh-uh. I think Don't Save Her don't probably save be his her. biggest don't charting save song. Don't Save Her will chicken probably head, be Chicken Head, save Don't Save Her. Don't Save Her. Riding Spin, uh, uh, Duh, my ballers, we be on some twinkie, twinkies, twinkies. That's from the Choices soundtrack, though. Like That's Chicken Head. That's Chicken Heads, yeah. So Chicken Heads, so, you know what I mean? But that'll be a tough one right there. That'll be a tough one. That'll be a classic. See, man, they, they, they don't got this type of mind frame. Or they, they need niggas like us to put these type of joints together. You, you're wasting all of the type of shit that you can put. Some of these motherfuckers definitely ain't going to say no. You just got to ask. Damn. Incarcerated rappers. Incarcerated Ooh. rappers. Incarcerated rapper. I go shit. Cool C. Glamorous life that whole Philly shit. Okay. Now you're taking it all the way back. C. Murder. Put C. Murder in somebody. Oh, C. Murder. Yeah, C. Shine. Murder. Shine ain't, Shine ain't locked, up. locked up, though. Shine and Belize. He running for like senator now. Salute to Shine, man. Good luck with that. Uh, incarcerated rappers. I like to see Fat Trill, cause he incarcerated right now. I like to see him go. Again. Oh, C Murder and BG would be hard. BG, that's different. But you know, I just fuck with Fat Trill, so you had to find somebody else that's locked up right now. That Bobby Schmurder. Bobby Schmurder. Bobby Schmurder and Fat, Fat Trill. Trill. That'll be cold. You know what That'll man? be hard. Man, we got to move on. We can do this shit all day. We could do this shit all Let's day. Talk what about else you got? Shit. Oh, you know what? You know what we got to talk about? Because we ain't talked about it. What, man? We got to talk about it. What is it? We got to talk. Well, I'll just read the way that our research department put it down. August Alcina. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. God damn it, man. I don't, boy. What the hell we'll happened start, over there, man? We'll start playing some video game music, man. man I got this nigga started playing the extra board music when they, we said that shit. Man, what the hell? Listen, Carlos Miller. No, talk to me, man. Talk to me. I don't understand. I don't understand how you want to fuck up a situation that good. That's the angle you taking. I just don't understand. You mean to tell me that you sat down with the Fresh Prince, and this nigga gave you the okay to fuck woo? And you don't take that as the biggest, that, that, that right there, I don't understand, it's ungrateful, man. It's just ungrateful. <laughs> ungrateful, man. I, I'm sorry, I respect all that love shit and all that, that's cool, but it's ungrateful. You never supposed to speak on nothing. Right, ever. That happened. But here's the thing. I Why you were spending the night over Will Smith in them house. Yeah. Will Smith and them was nice enough to let you spend the night over there. Yeah. I don't give a shit what happened over there. You don't supposed to leave that house and say, and a, say a motherfucking thing. And say a word, man. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I just hope, I just hope that whenever Jada comes out and talks to herself on the red table, Cause that's what she said. She, she should be on there by herself. She's gonna be on First. there by herself. Whenever you do that, Miss Smith, Miss Pinkett Smith, I want you. I hope that you come out and be like, you know what? Yeah, this is how we live it. Cause y'all have the ability to make that shit cool. And I don't so? think that I think that we need. I think we need alternative ways of living to be put forth to show that the customary social customs that everybody been subscribing to is bullshit. Boy, you in your bag today. For real, if they bullshit. But can you imagine watching an interview, bro? The nigga on the interview talking some heavy shit, and he sad. He fucking you can tell he emotional, and you find out this nigga sad over your wife. <laughs> that you didn't gave him permission. You gave him, do you know how mad I would be if I was Will Smith and this nigga 
then came out and told all our business. Well, you know, Will Pryor was like, man, I don't know about Slim, man. You know what I mean? I don't know about that nigga. Jaden Pryor was like, man, it is cool. Then my all we all this is alleged. You this is all mean? alleged. It's all alleged. But this figuratively speaking, if you sit down and have a conversation with Will Smith, first of all, just having that happen alone is a privilege. That's a that's a privilege to be able to sit down with Will and get that type of energy exchange. And then when you build up the right to ask that man, look, bro, I fuck with all that, but I don't want to be disrespectful. But uh, it's gonna seem weird. Matter of fact, bro, you got something to drink real quick? I can get. All right, uh, yeah, man. I just I just was wondering, man, cause you know I'd have been over here a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, I dog like I never bro, been what treated type? like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I never been treated like this before, and I just want to say thank you for all your hospitality. But there's like something I've been having on my mind. I wanted to speak to you about. Like I really want to fuck your wife, bro. And I don't want to do it because, bro. I mean, I ain't never been treated like this before, dog. This, like no, the way y'all treat. What you saying, bro? But, uh, listen, but I, I don't want to seem like I'm being disrespectful, but. You know, because all this stuff over here, bro, I'm talking about, I come in, you got a whole side of the house that's like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air mansion, bro. I ain't never thought I would even experience no, bro, no shit like that. What you getting at, though? I'm, I'm just saying, like, Jada, like, she... What about her? She, she be walking My past. My wife? Your wife. You yeah, she's amazing. She be walking past sometimes, you know what I mean? You be... Oh, they walk crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they walk be crazy. And she be looking back. And like, I, what you mean? Like, I, like... That's how she be looking? Yeah, it's like... And I don't be one to, you know, be in your house and be disrespectful. So I just was wondering if bro, stop have... right there, man. You when you at my house, you at home, bro. <laughs> Whatever is in here is yours. You make yourself at home when you're at my home, man. You part of the fam. Look at me. It's the Fresh Prince you talking to, man. There ain't nothing in this house you can't have, man. You ain't even been in all the rooms yet. You don't even know that we got a room with just the same color as your birthday. Uh, I I Stop crying. Uh, Stop crying. Uh, Stop crying. I didn't want to be. I, I, was, I thought that you would be cool enough. Hey, man, no, 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 no. Hold it right there. Hold uh, it right there. I got to go shoot this movie. Be here when I get back, bro. I'm telling you. You more than welcome to stay, man. But, but I'm saying, I, nah. I, it ain't nothing to talk about no more. Nothing. I said we could. Nothing. Hey. You want to stay here, you got my blessing. You got my blessing. Hey, man, you the greatest of all time. I know it. I know it. Now, you think he do that and then look up. He on the set of the movie that he filming right now and see this nigga telling a surreal, beautiful scenario <laughs> like that to people who didn't even ask, man. What if that wasn't it? What if he, what if this shit didn't happen like that? What if he heard that shit for the first time like we did? Like... Oh, that's even, ah, that's even crazier to think about. He probably called home Bro, confusing him up. Uh, hello? What the fuck going on over there? What is this little nigga saying? Man, listen, if he did find out like that, boy, that cuss out is probably was, he probably walked in the house, whoa! How the fuck you, you mean to tell me you got this nigga over here? To be the little shit that you don't even think Will Smith would care about. You got this nigga over here walking around with his bare feet touching my floor, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Dude. If he found, if he didn't, if he really didn't have a conversation, which I don't think I don't you can think, say nothing like bro, that. Bro, how you give somebody the blessing to do some shit like that? Because it ain't like, I, it ain't, bro, uh, you give somebody the blessing to marry your daughter or some shit like that, but you don't get nobody to, hey. See, that's you why take we your, need him to come out and say, yes, you do. We living like that. That's how we living. Cash out the bag, yes. We don't follow that same bullshit that everybody else follow, and we don't give a fuck that we're gonna be judged because this makes us happy. If they do that, it'll open up the world for so much more, for so many more people to stop being ashamed of living alternative lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong, ain't no such thing as an alternative lifestyle. If you living a life that make you happy and you ain't doing no bullshit to hurt nobody, then be proud of that. But it's hard because if you come out, you know what I mean, and, and, and say that you let a nigga fuck your wife, everybody gonna right. look at you like- I think he broke the code though. You don't, I, I think that, that this this ain't them. You get what I'm saying? Like this nigga that came, I think he done told or, or called, I don't know. 
I'm still waiting on some shit to come out. Man, I can't wait for that red. I don't know. Come. I'm gonna be watching. Wait, I'm waiting on that shit like the Super First Bowl. First of all, I can't wait. I've been a fan too long. The, right. The fan in me don't want to believe none of this shit. Right. But, even, but the grown man in me, like, man, this shit happen every day. Right. This ain't nothing out of the ordinary. And then you think if they, you know, these rumors been flying around for years. So you know, if you're a celebrity, it's gonna be rumors. But let's say that it is the case. Do you know how many niggas? that did not say shit is mad that they know that they ain't gonna never be no devil back now? Like, how dare you fuck up my situation? Every first and third year, I get to go over there and double back. Now nah, I can't come no more, because now the heat change. is on. Rules, Rules and change. change. Rules and change. Man, hell nah, man. Yeah, he fucked it up for everybody. Ain't no more smell Man, hell like, nah, man. Ain't no more smell nah. tonight, man. Man, That's hey, fellas, up. if you ever fall into, let, let one of my dream women from my childhood Decide they want to give me some pussy, some and of them I have. get to talk to her husband. You just haven't said that nigga say he want me to have the pussy too, nigga. Nobody will ever know. I mean, I tell you because somebody, you know somebody <laughs> want my to. partner, but that don't count. Somebody, somebody do. Let and just by let you Regina put it out Hall there. come out and be like, "Hey, Chico, babe, I want to give you some pussy." Listen, I, yes, whatever I need to keep a secret, I keep it a secret. Where I need to meet you at. Somewhere, other, whatever, La Quinta, that's cool. That's how you, you get there? had to be, what? Regina Not Hall. fucking that up. Regina Hall. That's how you living. Boy, do you know how, hey, uh, and she a, a old DC woman. She got that DC mentality from back in the day. I would love for that offer to be extended to me. And no way would I ever be sitting down in a one-on-one -on -one interview. We do one-on-one -on -one interviews, but I wouldn't sit down and be like, Bro. Carlos Miller, guess what? Welcome back to the 85 South Show. You ain't gonna believe. Bro, that nigga probably was getting an allowance and everything. Bro, a mean one. Had his own room and shit. Get to play the game whenever he want to. He, he got his own profile on they shit. Bro, as Netflix a come up, it was Will, Jada, Willow, Jaden, August. You left Trey out. Trey too, but Trey probably wasn't with that shit. He's probably like, man, that nigga my age. I ain't fuck with that nigga. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know. I just that's how I know I can't wait till they place, address man. it. I can't, you know, because this is all alleged. Twenty twenty is the strangest place I've ever been. Oh yeah, it, it, but without question, bro. Without I'm telling question. you, this shit is ugly. Without I never question. thought, bro. That I don't know. Did you ever think that you would see an interview with somebody say, "Hey, man"? I asked this man to fuck his wife, and he said it was cool, and she left me. I can't believe she did that Nigga, shit. Tupac made nine albums, didn't say shit about it. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> they, right, exactly. You mean to tell me you got the, you broke the code, bro. It's like you put a cheat code in in life to be able to get that scenario set up. I don't know. You never say nothing, man. You keep that, and that's just in general. And that's the all fucked that up kiss part. and tell shit is lame all the way across the board. That's I'm a, not about to be publicly talking about shit I do privately. But if a motherfucker was to choose to out you, as long as you ain't doing no shit privately that you ashamed of, then I'm like, yeah, fuck, you got damn right. You got damn right I fucked in the living room with the TV playing Baby Shark because her kid was sleeping in the other room and we didn't want to disturb her. Where they at now? Are they done? Is it over? Is it over? Is what over? The whole relationship is yeah. done. It, who, Will and Jada? No. The other the side nigga. Man, he, hell yeah. He said if he died today, he was good. That's how good Jada Pinkett pussy is. Her pussy got to be so good that you it make you don't want no more. That's crazy. Make a nigga change that, his whole outlook. That's great to where you don't want no more. And he said, I could die today. And I'm straight. Cause I know what love is. I said, boy, woo. I need to make better decisions. Cause I really have never experience no shit like that. I ain't never came out no new face. I'm dead serious. I ain't never finished fucking and be like, well, <laughs> go ahead, take me, Lord, because uh, I'm through down here. I'm through whatever. I don't ain't shit else for me to accomplish. I don't give a fuck. Fuck my family. Fuck all that. I'm good. I have never, this is what, if this got to be what heaven is like, I want to come wherever you at to get some more of this shit. Never. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with life, bro. I'm good. Bro, I was telling Marvin Gaye about the shit. Look how he looked at it. This is the strangest shit I've ever heard, man. I ain't never heard of no black man telling another black man, go knock off. 
Mm -hmm. hey, but I'm not against that, man. I but ain't. what if, like you said, what if that's it. what they decide? Yeah, I ain't against it. I, man, if that's how, if that's what make you happy, man, do that. I'm not opposed to that. Who the fuck gonna fuck the same person they whole life? Somebody. Who? Yeah, I don't know nobody that committed to that shit personally. I, well, I do know one person, but that nigga different. You know what I mean? He done been through some shit, so. Yeah, a lot of niggas been through some shit. Nigga, just imagine the thoughts of Jalen thinking how he used to do. You really you get it or not? Who delivered that news to you? Shit, apparently Will Smith. Because that's who you sitting down and having a conversation with. Hey, brother, come in, let me holler at you. Do you think it was like an Uncle Phil conversation like he used to have with, I with the... I don't know. I don't know either, bro. One thing and the nigga took it the wrong way. I don't know. I just can't see it, nigga. Like, so, so we agreed to, we agreed to disagree. I just don't know what verbiage you would use. Say, man, uh, he got a little friendly over there, man. Keep it, take it to the next level. <laughs> hey, and if he did... If, if this shit is true, this is going to end. This is going to change the whole landscape of everything. What if it's true? Right? But hold up, wait. So what if it's true, right? So she come out, she do her interview, and she break down and she crash. She said, and he's supportive and all this shit. All this shit that the good husband supposed to do. What happens after that? That's why I say the only way in my mind that it can really they either got to either vehement, got to deny it, or you got to come on out with it. It's one or the other. But the the catch, there's catches in the shit because I don't remember. Buddy in the interview saying anything about sex. He just said they had a relationship. So she could say, well, yeah, we had a relationship and that we never had sex. He just took the level of relationship that we had. The and then they're going to try to flip it and be like, love ain't sex. That's the whole conversation. Exactly. So you could be in love without having sex. That flips it. That flips it. Like, you know what I mean? Motherfucker fall in love with you without having any intimate contact. So. Oh, he fuck, be, you just ruined he, this whole right, shit. Have any me. intimate contact, so Will Smith could have gave him the blessing to have a relationship that is more intimate with his wife than is socially accepted in regards to being places when they're alone and going out and doing all of that type of stuff. But sexually, that never happens. Mm. That's how they can flip the I shit. think that's, that's, see, that's what I was saying. I think the nigga took that shit and ran with it. He misinterpreted something. Something happened. But to there me, there was a glitch. To me, I would. I can't believe it because the nigga said, "If I died today." Yep. Now that was. What's it come with that? that I don't was, give a fuck. That was who the he kicking is. part. When he said that, if he wouldn't have said that, I might have thought that was plausible. When he said, "I'm ready to go," that's the pussy that did that to you. The, the biggest hope in the world, J O N, because I'm telling you. Said that. Because for real, if you, I can imagine that. You think like whoever is somebody that you grew up loving, and you look down, and your dick is in her. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit out of in your mind you like I think I ain't gonna believe this shit. I know that's how Nick had to feel. And the crazy that's part. That's how Nick had to feel the, the first time he got on the ride. He probably was like, God damn, nigga. Bro, that's another type of dream making it come true for for especially for a man and a black man. That's a manifesting for your ass right there. And, and you don't know, get this, no more this manifestation. That's the craziest that. part about that. That's Jada Pinkett. The pussy probably ain't even the best thing about her. Of course not. <laughs> Nigga, she hung with Tupac. You know them stories? You, know, you can sit down and listen to her tell stories about her and Tupac having lunch. Nigga, that is be entertaining to the motherfucker. Like, this is one of the most brilliant black women to ever live. There's so many of them that, that we grew up loving. I'm talking about we grew up loving. And if you actually get to a point where you're having intercourse or any type of relationship that's like this, bro, I can't imagine what that'll do to your mind what if, if you're not all stable this time, minded. If you're not stable minded. What if all this time she was like, yeah, go ahead, do your thing. But one day I'm going to get me a boyfriend. And they've been playing about this shit for 20 years. And then she finally got one. This might just be her turn back. It could be. That's why we need to. Man, listen. I, if they charge for that red table talk, I pay like a pay-per-view. I got to see gonna, it. Yeah, I got to see it, bro. Because I just hope that they come out and be like, yes, this is what it is. This is how we live it. And you think they're going to bring him on there? Uh, but he already been on there. He was he, on there already. Well, you got to bring him back. Some shit done. Nah, he done fucked it up. We can't trust you now. We don't know. He can come over. We can't spend a night. 
It's been a night privilege. It's, it's been, been a night. Yeah, it's been a night privilege. It's over with. You seen that picture when they was together and that nigga Drake was looking? There's a lot hey, of pictures with I people feel behind that nigga him. Drake. That nigga Drake was looking like, boy, I got to work harder. See, nah, we ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah, that's 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 yeah, yeah, that's 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 too personal. That mean really, that mean we'll really fuck with that nigga if he was giving him a massage. That mean, I mean, I'm talking about like trust him, like, bro, you good, bro, you hand strong. Jada told me, go ahead, hook me up. Yeah, why not? You part of the fam. That's how it go. That's how it go. Hey, man, that's how it go. I'm I, I'm not opposed to it at all. I salute it if it's real. That shit is strange. I did see Will get massage. If a man knows what a man wants, Jada was like. Word? You saw that picture of Queen Latifah standing behind them? Like. Yeah, because Queen know. She knew what time it was. She was like, yeah, because she hey, set it off. Y'all, that probably went over y'all here. People are crazy, man. But that's you really, really is, they'll realize it. What it, you know what I mean? Oh, they was in that movie together. That's what it is, Chico. But at the end of the day, man, this shit ain't, ain't surprising to me. It's it's shocking, but it's not surprising. No, nothing is surprising this year. It's a lot of shocking shit, but nothing is surprising. I, and that was extra shocking when I seen him having the one on one, talking about how he was willing, to, he good to go, he good to go, and we don't know him personally to know what his personal mental stability and all that shit that they get to talk about but the bottom line is if you have reached a level of of life that most men will never attain you know what i believe you so, have this is what made the shit squandered believable it. to me though will smith every time he sit down he sit like this i think that is so bitch made <laughs> i just never i just never would flip like this what type of nigga sits that's like that's the og way that of sitting nigga there. got his th- i don't that the nigga Niggas, Fuck old niggas no. sat uh-uh. like that. No, I ain't never. W.E.B. Du Bois and them niggas no, sat I like ain't. that. Bro, I that's ain't that. never accepted that shit. That's how the Negro shit. sat, nigga. I ain't never gonna accept that that's shit, That's how the man. Negro sat down. Any motherfucker who a, sit like this, that man. That is the Negro I right there. fucking with that. That's not, that is the Negro. That is the Negro male yeah. right there. That's what we call that. I don't know, I don't know how these niggas built, but I'm not about to sit over yeah, my dick, man. Yeah, that shit uncomfortable to me. I think after you get 40, Why the fuck would you do that? Your legs start feeling different when after you get 40, you could just sit like that for a long time. Hell the OG no. niggas, you will see an OG nigga. I've got uncles that sit like that, and I know these niggas. Every time I see them and them niggas are coming, come like on that. in here, nephew. What's up with you, baby? I'd be like, bro, if you don't goddamn fix your feet, nigga. <laughs> Shit. I'm like, okay, Auntie James. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that's the Negro right there. Right. Negroes sit like that. I, don't, I, they, I, Black I, I will never, ex- I never accept it. I'm sorry. Man, this shit is wild, bro. What else can, it's not even worth asking what else this year got to offer, bro. This year gonna be crazy. This the, gonna this, be. This, it the, already I'm is. Saying, this is the first half. What you think the second, second half, half gonna do? Once that cold set bro, in and that when, real Bro, winner is, is watching this shit like, like boy, nigga, hold my bill. Wait till it's my turn. You think you did something with your little chest flu. I'm right. about to get these niggas the boo-boos. The winter time when it get cold and the leaves start falling and you start Nigga, looking the, outside. They found the bubonic plague in China. Right, I know. The bubonic plague, the shit from the fucking dark ages, nigga, is back. It's back. It's back. Listen, man, this right here is a cold one. Nobody would have ever predicted this shit. Where's I think we're going we to get, we throw, we get a throwback event. Watch. It's going to be something because it's too much shit when you heard about it. whatever happened to the opioid crisis. Motherfuckers just put their opioids down and went home in quarantine. What the fuck happened? Oh, it's a lot of shit that got swept <laughs> under the rug. Nigga, they might be in the crack era back. It might be 10 more years of crack cocaine. We don't know what these motherfuckers got possible. up their sleeve. Anything is possible this year, bro. Anything is possible. I tell you what's not possible. You going back outside safely. That's not possible. That's done. That's done. That's been done. But once it get cold, because you got to think, regular sick season ain't even came. You know, it come a time where everybody be sick anyway. So now, when regular sick season come, on top of what's already been going on and it's cold outside, ain't nobody trying to go outside no way. Woo! I'm, that's why we need Anthony Hamilton to send the 2020 wrap-up. I will not accept anything else but Anthony Hamilton featuring Fantasia. Sick. We need them type of voices to wrap up this year. I don't want to hear all that rap shit is cool. You niggas rap. Yeah, you can rap in 2021. This year, we need some soul on the 2020 wrap up. Can we can we get a, a street version featuring Rod Wave on that? 
Oh, wait, he can, yeah, he can do that. He can bring some pain to it. That nigga sad on every song. Bro. Yes, he do. And I don't appreciate how he slapped Lil Ra Ra. Oh, he did in the cell? He had to do that. We know we've been fucking with Rod Wave for a long time. From January to January. January to January. That nigga Rod Wave been going through it since he was 15 years old. This nigga yeah. got grown man problems. They been killing that nigga. Don't Twitter fuck with where I wave so heavy, but they always be making like look, look clips of his songs. <laughs> you know what I mean? They be like, <laughs> when you run, <laughs> when you in gym class and the teacher asks you why you stop, and the nigga be like, cause I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was on the on the little clip like, cause I can't breathe. <laughs> I gotta get on Twitter more, man. You do, I man. That shit is so I, funny. I gotta get on that. It's, a, it's just like a, a comedic orgy to me. Man, listen, I seen a clip that a nigga sent me with the dude squirting some water in some babies' faces, and one of the babies had on some glasses and his hairline was fucked up. They was like, why you do Chico Bean like that? I cried. You ain't seen that shit? With the, with the, with the, and they squirted the goddamn water in the toddler's face. But it was like, what the fuck wrong with you, daddy? Man, that shit had me crying. Twitter is a special place. Now, don't go on to Facebook different, though. Facebook is the, is the gutter. The yeah. gutter, nigga. Yeah. I went on Facebook on accident and see my auntie telling all her business on the internet. I was like, God damn. That's what you saw recently? Recently. I go on there because my, my little brother sent me a uh, gang banging. That's who uh, originally sent it to me. And I went on there and clicked on the profile and she was telling shit that didn't. I'm like, oh, Facebook is. And then people up under the comments agreeing. Facebook. I was on that bitch the other week. Facebook I, is like I don't know. Have you man. seen this dude? He a little person, but he a gangster. He like cut up. Yeah, he got he a bunch boxing of tattoos and, and shit. Yeah, I see yeah. him. Little, this dude, he was on Facebook Live. And he, somebody had said that one of these niggas was his cousin. This nigga, this shit killed me. He was like, who ain't my cousin? They're my real cousin. They're my little cousin. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> but this nigga was about 6'3". I was like, you the little cousin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, Facebook is a different place. A lot of aunties is, on there. It definitely is. So. J O N, you good? Oh, Looking like good. you got your stimulus check. Check out our new art, bro. You see it? You see that one right there? That one cold? Yeah, we about to hang. We about to redo our whole trap. Yeah, I got some art that's coming down too. You know what I mean? So we doing it, man. Salute to everybody that's that's fuck with us enough to show us. Hey, before we go, I got to ask you. What's up? If your chick came over, you're like your chick. You say you don't fuck with him like that. Your chick come over your house. She say about her other nigga. You gonna console her? That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, depending. I'm not gonna talk about the nigga. I'm not gonna sit and have no conversation about no another nigga. But I tell her how I feel like she can feel better about herself and not worrying about what nobody else does to or for her. If you was Will Smith, what would you tell your wife right now? <laughs> What is, what are they talking about before they go to shit? I don't even know. I wouldn't do nothing. Man. I'd just be disrespectful, just walk around the house rapping summertime the whole goddamn day. There it is. I do, I'm just, no conversation. I'm speaking in all lyrics just to be an asshole. You know the fucked up part? August coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it sure is. We just hope Jada don't July. Get the fuck. <laughs> you get that one too, goddammit. Hey man. July. I'm not about to keep doing this shit with you, man. man. We, we out here. this bitch. Oh.